Hi, Beaver. What you doing, Beaver? What you doing hanging in and shit so early? D what did I just click? Hi, Aelin. How you doing? Big enthusiasm. Let's go. How you doing? Boop. <gasps> Lily! Sorry, that was so loud. <laughs> How are you? Lily, I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> How did I survive so long without you? How are you? You're so cute. Day off of assignment today because office works was behind in printing. Mm. So I'll write the report tomorrow and then I'm done. Let's go. Well done, Aelin. You're doing great. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Tap. How you doing? I was what, just watching Critical Role. Just finished another episode. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, the fucking, oh my god, oh my god, I just, oh my god. I just, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, stuff keeps happening and I'm like, oh my god, like the, 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 the episode I'm up to, it's like really far away, but it's still one of those things where I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I can't say spoilers, but it'd be day. Trying to decide if I want to keep my sock on or not. You know, sometimes you're like, let my feet breathe. Um, and then other times you're like, actually, I want my tootsies warm. You know, it's a constant fight in my brain. <laughs> I can't sleep. Dang. 11 hours of work and been up since 11 p.m. last night. Holy shit, man. That's okay, man. You just gotta let the adrenaline wear off, okay? Just listen to my voice, sit in your bed, lie down, just relax, okay? And if you fall asleep, excellent. That's according to my plan. <laughs> it's perfectly fine, I promise. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I accidentally took a nap this afternoon. I must have taken your sleepiness. I mean, admittedly, I've been awake since like 6.45 this morning, but still. <laughs> I would literally message my sister like, hey, do you want me to walk by to like pick you up? And then uh, I was like sitting up, cause I was literally sitting on my desk. Like if I don't start moving now, I'm going to fall asleep. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'll just have a quick lie down. <laughs> like I just laid down with the, the Pokemon and then I like was too tired. I didn't really care about what was happening on Pokemon. So I just left it and then I, conked out for like 30 minutes until I wake up to my phone ringing. <laughs> I'm very tired. That's a game. I have found my earbuds. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Illy tap. You're doing great. Yay. I can sprinkle positive. Chat is cute. Ooh. Hydrate. Sorry, I missed a comment. Where's my hand? It was nice to have the day's separation from the results too. It gives me a clear view of where I should should improve, which I can do the report in. That's fair, that's fair. Took my sleep out rude, I'm sorry. Just to close the eyes. And now from 9 to 11 p.m. Ooh, nice. Biru, how was your doctor's appointment? You had that yesterday, right? Yesterday, today-ish, whatever period of time it is. How was that? Damn, shepherd's pie, nice. God, y'all all making me hydrate. Admittedly, I am behind on water. That's probably why I conked out so much this afternoon, to be honest. I think I barely had like two cups of water. <laughs> Maybe uh, probably three by the end, but I was definitely behind by the time I had my break, so. Behold, Orb Father shall be reunited. <laughs> you know, I just realized I should leave Orb Father behind here. Like when I'm not, I could, I should just, doesn't he look great? He 
far to the side. Does he look fantastic? <gasps> he has the best hat. Oh, we love him. Oh, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> Yay. So cute. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Orbmas. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Yay. Let's go. He's just so cute. We love him. Yay. Praise or father. Ah. Saint or father. <laughs> the goodest of boys. Ye. X ray is done. Determined not bone. And they're pretty sure it's not nerve damage. So MRI is scheduled for the neck or cervical spine. <laughs> What was the specific, like, problem you're trying to isolate? <laughs> Happy summer holiday, Orb Dad! Yay! Happy Merry Christmas and or holidays to you too, Tap. Oh, that's right. You have holidays. Mm-hmm. It's Hanukkah. Question. When is Hanukkah? <laughs> when is actually Hanukkah? Is it just celebrated on the same day? Or was it, like, a couple of days prior? Like, it's the 10th or something? Also prescribed me some anti-inflammatory antacid. God, these are complicated words. <laughs> to counter some ibuprofen, create an electrostimulant device. Um, you want to explain that a little bit more? <laughs> Just for the people in chat who obviously don't understand, because I, I mean, obviously I know everything. I know what an antacid is it's when you're just too flaccid <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so sorry i couldn't <laughs> okay okay i'm sorry okay it goes for about two weeks ago it goes for a week okay cool all right oh my god okay work injury did something that causes neck pain shoulder yes i remember that part and can't lift any more than five pounds and struggle with things even less heavy. <laughs> so that happened and you don't know what still hurts? Antacid, Nexium or Gaviscon. What's that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no brain cells. I'm not really um, versed on anything. Actually, I know what ibuprofen is. That's good. Anti-inflammatory equals Similar to ibuprofen. Right, right. You know, things that reduce swelling. That's the part I do understand. Antacid to counter. Nexia. Honestly, I look at Gavascon and I just think of Gascon, you know, from Beauty and the Beast. October 2022. Still haven't found the cause, but did, some, did find some arthritis down near... Sacrum? That's supposed to be scrotum? What's a sacrum? Scones. Dude, I would love some scones. I keep telling dad <laughs> that if I come to visit, make some scones because I fucking want scones so much in my life and I never get around to it. I have everything I need in this house to make scones and yet for some weird reason, I don't do it. Sacrum. Sacrum. Yeah, but what is it? <laughs> what part of the body? Sacrum. Um, I love you guys. You guys are really just put up with my shit. <laughs> my stupid shit. Cooking stream. Dude, I really want to do cooking stream. Okay, so um, I've been trying to like disseminate in my brain how I would do a cooking stream. Um, I still have a lot of things to try and calculate. <laughs> But I'm thinking I could maybe just get my laptop. The only problem is my laptop's not really made for streaming. That's the problem. So I need a- what I need to do is, um, kind of grab- I need to get my laptop, configure it so it works, and probably just sit it on the bench and kind of, like, do it that way. Otherwise I'm not sure. Or I can figure out how to stream from my phone. That is another option. 
but I don't know how well that would go. <laughs> um, but I'm really hoping that for Christmas I'll get a tripod, which hopefully can hold like a phone or just anything really. I just need everything. All right, I'm gonna put our bow over here. Anyway, I was reading your comments. All right, I was reading your comments. Um, so tailbone, got you, got you. Right down to bottom. Today is my first D&D session with friends in like over a month. I turned the Thanksgiving event into a Christmas event, which is apparently lore friendly in Forgotten Realms. Waterdeep specifically celebrates Winter Shield or basically Christmas. Mmm, I like it. We love you. That's why we're here. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, thanks, Tap. <laughs> Take the compliment, Hannah. Come on. <laughs> My brain's like, no, don't make me cry. Um. I'm a big girl, I can take a compliment. <laughs> That's what people should say. It's like, you, you think you can take a hit? It's like, can you take a compliment? <laughs> you're a wonderful and beautiful human being that deserves love and affection and you're great and you're doing your best. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Crossing fingers, they figure out, good, it wasn't cervical bone because that would have been bad, but muscle is tricky to deal with, so. Mm. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay. All right. Look at the birds. Wow. I love you, birds. Yeah. You're doing great. All right. Let's go. I love talking. Oh yeah, that's right. Everybody's dying. We love that. I'll heal him. Heal the bitch. Here. Medicine. Thanks for saving me, miss. Good night. She says as they all die a horrific death. Alright, so who else is dying? They said people were disappearing left and right, right? One of the good ones, right? Well, of course. Cat! Bobs. See, that doesn't work on me, as I don't believe that. But I believe that, and that's okay. You know, I'll keep believing in you until you believe in yourself. Mm hmm All right, I promise. Okay, in here. This is where I gotta go. His granddaughter went looking for an apothecary. Dad, me, let's go. Hey, bitch, take my medicine. What happens when I run medicine. out of medicine? Oopy day. broken. Everyone is dying. We love that. You Shh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> said a lot of things. If he's broken, thanks to you. You have my gratitude. I keep getting surprised that they say something. I'm poisoning them all to death without even knowing. Never even doubted you. Lies. It's locked. How am I supposed to help out? Can I go behind here or something? Nope. All right. Anything else I need to check? Oh, I think it was... I think I have to go down here? Yeah. Oh, it's the kid and his mama. Yeah, it's the bitch that's cheating on her husband. I remember. Don't think I forgot. Can I... Let me interact. There we go. Here. Medicine. What happens when I run out of medicine? Hi, hi. Duh. Hey. Older, I know this might come off as a surprise. What I can for now. My name's not Duh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Han or Hannah. Just saying. Don't give me a cheeky smile. You're not here to see me. <sighs> How dare. You sure? <sighs> I don't know. A lot of people come in here saying Han, so I must be one of the two. Checking cheekers. Also, getting sent back to work, albeit with heavy restrictions, so it might not catch me around as often once that starts. Depends on if work takes me back, what hours I get, etc, etc. No worries, Vero. I mean, it's, 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 it's... Hopefully, they will be good. Otherwise, stab. No, <laughs> don't stab. Don't stab people, okay? Um, hopefully, they will do right by you. Okay, as an employer should. But uh, it's a bit of hit or miss. I say wings. Mm-hmm. Wings is a good one. 
I've done what I can for now. The sickness is spreading fast. We need to find its source or there won't be anyone standing before long. I hope this is loud enough again, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Apothecary. Are they... Are they better? I don't know. Have you talked to him? We're out of the woods Get better now, sleep the next few nights. The shitty early to sleep easy. is messing with my coordination and mood. That's fair. Stab? I, uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry about before. Stab with I the lore. And by that, I mean sue them. <laughs> Senna gave me a tongue lashing about it, too. He said you saved his life. Yes! They appreciate me. I know I've got no right to ask this after how I treated you, but please, save our town, save my friends. Yeah, what is happening? I intend to, but I need your aid first. Help me locate the source of this contagion. Could be water. Poisoned water. Could be a well. Huh. Well, I don't know if this will help, but... Earlier today, Senna said the water tasted funny. Told you. <laughs> wow. Ma said the same thing to me this morning. Really? I boiled some water this morning. And yeah, would have neutralized. The water. Of course. Shocking. <laughs> Maybe those who contracted this illness all drank the water without boiling it first. If that's true, then that must be the source. All right. Is there a well that you will go to? Fine deduction, Casty. I agree. I mean, that didn't take much. We draw our water What's going on? Spring that flows we are not stabbing. Put the knives down. We talked about this. Then my course is clear. I must Mainly you see wings cavern. because because I don't feel worthy. I haven't been here long farther. enough to use your real name. You've been here plenty. What do you mean? We're You're here basically public every public. day. <laughs> There's people who don't come here every day who still call me Han. This is our town. It's Having a great time. It's protect. my name. I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I must insist that you stay. Just Cleansing scratch my foot. <laughs> dangerous work. No, that's bad. Are you okay, Tab? Put the knives down, guys. Right. Oh my god, guys. I had an iteration of that stab knife where it had blood dripping off it, and then I had to read the emote rules, and it said, because I just wanted to double check that I wasn't, like, violating any rules. <laughs> and then I found out that it can't really have blood on it, so I was like, oop. You have a habit of putting others above yourself, don't you? You've been here as long as me. You are worthy. Fine. It's not a knife. What is that? Piece, is that a- oh, it's a capsicum? Is that what it is? Or a carrot or something? That's a good one. I love that. I'm setting out for the cave to the south. I'll be back soon. Hopefully. How do I fight? I'm still trying to figure out how she fights. Magic. Okay, someone's literally poisoning the water source. Fantastic. Not good. It's a bloody carrot. That is terrifying. Look at her go. Isn't she cute? I must save this town. Look at me go. All right, how do I fight? Do what I have? Do I have magic? Well now. Okay. Well, she has an axe. She has an axe. Medical concoction. Hazardous concoction. Healing and icicle. Okay, so she's magic. With a, with an axe. Why does she have an axe? All right. What you know what? Do we don't question that? things. Here I go. My turn. My journey will not end. Um, suction cup, me. Hell yeah. Are you saying you've never had ketchup with your carrots, Han? Um, excuse me? Do not say something so foul. Why? Why would you ever have ketchup and carrots, alright? Never. I don't like ketchup on a regular day, but carrots are amazing. And you're gonna defile them with ketchup? <gasps> 
Disgusting. I swear to God. If I find out someone's actually done that, I'm calling somebody. I'm gonna call my therapist and be like, someone said that they have carrot and ketchup. I don't think I'm emotionally gonna get over this. Dr. Lane. Tomato sauce at least. No, get out of here. No, no, no. Criminal, 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 criminal. Done. Precious to risk. Well now. Oh my god. Here I go. Well now. My turn. Hi guys. We're having a great time. I think I'm really I looking forward no to Christmas, guys. I'm just- I think I'm just really looking forward to just having some time, spending time with my parents. I want to go see the movies. I still message Levi that I want to try and catch up with them. I'm just so worried that I'm gonna end up not catching up with them when they literally live so close. Like, I'm- I'm gonna be kicking myself if I don't catch up with them. So I really should tell them that I intend to so I hold myself accountable. What's down there? You are a poison that must be purged. Well now. Huh. Ah, there. I know how my American friend feels when they say they don't have an electric kettle. Wait, what? what to do? What how come they don't do? have an electric kettle? Are they okay? Why wouldn't you have an electric kettle? Like it's my turn. it's healthy. It's food. Well now. Nice. Forgive me. I have one. It's great. Yeah. Well, I, I have an electric kettle. They use the stove or nuke the water. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I respect that, but effort <laughs> requires a level of effort that I do not have. Any more, at least. How do I get down there? There's like another pot. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Nice. I just realized I'm really close to death. <laughs> Use electricity to turn the stove on to heat it. Does that count? Um, I mean, I guess so. What is? What are they doing? They buffed themselves at the start of the thing. Please don't kill me. This rate. Pasty can cook. Okay. Alright, that sounds like a lot of effort that I don't understand. Heal yourself. Alright. Alright, let's try ice. This'll cool you down. Alright. Oh, the ice attack looks so pretty. Here I go. Like everyone I keep coming across what? is in this game are like mages, <laughs> predominantly. What to do? Yeah. My turn. Maybe it's just because everyone has like a mixture. I like, I want more Thronos in my life. But she has healing and has an axe, so I respect that. What's going on? Don't use my, don't microwave it, but it out, but it outridges us so thoroughly. Why would you ever microwave water? Nuke the water, isn't that dangerous? Yes, I know you mean microwave. Oh, okay. I didn't. Um. Water in microwave when reheating pizza? What Why? <gasps> no! Oh my god! No! Okay, so this is like a whole thing. You know. <laughs> no! Okay, so I found out that if you nuke 
if you if you leave a cup in the water uh, of water when you re when you reheat a pizza it actually helps like re put like water into it it makes it taste nicer because i always hate microwaved pizza i'm like a i'm like anti microwave pizza okay but then i like really i remember hearing something about how like oh you can put like a cup in with it and it might like make it taste better it does it literally talks about it tastes better it is amazing <sighs> sorry Anyway, hi Aldon. I just, I really like pizza. Take a glass of water, put it in the corner, throw the pizza in, and you get nice soft crust again. It's a hack learned about once and actually works. So good. It's amazing. I just, I can't, I can't believe I lived so much of my life being like, I don't want microwave pizza. And now I'm like, mmm, I can do that if you have a cup in it. Anyway. <laughs> Oopity day, doop doo doo. We have crispy, crispy cut crust here. Nice. The garlic crust. You know, I've always wanted to try the cheesy crust, but I've never actually managed to do it. <laughs> I should have healed myself. What am I doing? Please don't die. <laughs> This will make it all right. I'm gonna heal twice. BRB, need a shower. Well, Do it! Ooh, nice. I know no cure for evil. I know no cure for evil. You know no cure for evil. Wait, so you don't know the cure to evil? Then why did you say it? So many questions. Jaja. My god, I love so many little parts of this, like, aesthetic. You know, it really just seamlessly kind of, like, puts things into perspective and then, oh, yeah, put, the, put a guard's helmet on. Why not? Defense. We love that. Look at her go. Oh no, I must hurry. Oh. You are a poison that must be purged. Damn. What to do? Yeah. Alright, not that. There are fish, so ice probably would be effective. Here I go. This will cool you down. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> My turn. This will cool you down. Soon. I work since July. It's gonna My be a rough going back. That's okay. Good. Just take it to your, at your own pace. What games would this be similar to? I want to say, in terms of aesthetic, probably like Chrono Trigger, but also kind of like um, Sea of Stars that came out this year, and not that I've played that, but it's a good game. Definitely recommend both of them. Not that I've played Chrono Trigger either, but they both look good. Guys, I like bruised my hand today, in typical fashion. I whacked my hand. I don't know if you can see, there's like a red mark just along here. <laughs> Where I like whacked my hand into like a into one of the um into one of the handles. It's great. I do like the old F Final Fantasy Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Okay. If they let a lot of people go and the others left. Wonder how many people I knew will still be there. Hmm. That's a good question. Well, why'd you do that? I don't know. I was like walking by and accidentally hit my hand against something and then I like pulled it away. I was like, man, that really hurt. And then I was like looking at it and I was like, oh, that's like a lot more of a hit than I thought. <laughs> Planning to play Sea of Stars soon? Dude, I want to play Sea of Stars. I really want to play it. After now like playing this, I'm like, God, I need to play Sea of Stars. Uh, Stars. But also, Indie Game of the Year. It looks beautiful. Like, there's so many elements of it. The only reason I didn't buy it when it first came out was... I think it came out, I think it came out either the same, I think I, I want to say around maybe Starfield, so my brain was probably like, uh, I've already spent so much money on like Starfield, and then I bought Moonstone Island, and then there was the Pokemon DLC, I didn't have time. 
Well now. This'll cool you down. Now. What to do? What to do? This'll cool you down. How's the eye? The eye is fine now. Magically okay. It was so weird though, because Adara to me was like, haven't you ever had anything stuck in your okay. eye? And I was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I know like no never cure. so severely and she was like oh like usually it hurts for a couple days and then it's fine and I was like okay I'm gonna trust you and then it's fine I don't know what happened and it worries me <laughs> if you're on, st on steam you can expect a sale later today Yee! I'm really excited I'm so excited to check steam sales tomorrow I've been holding out for it but I also know <laughs> that I've already spent so much money on games this year I'm at that point where I'm like, can I refund Starfield? I want my $120 back. I can't. So I've played too much of it. But like, if I could have that money back and then just buy a different game instead. I already bought this. <sighs> I need to stop. Oh, it is already hurting from full. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Add a Steam sale is tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it's in, if I look it up, because the other day I was looking it up and it said it was like in two days. So I'll bring up the thing so I can give you an exact time. It's probably like you were like 10 o'clock at night or something. Where is it? Steam sales date. Because it is Christmas. Eight hours from now. There you go. Literally eight hours. Small piece of glass stuck in mine once. <laughs> Didn't know what was irritating it and it just fell out on its own. Wow. The human body is strangely resilient at times. Honestly baffles me. What level am I at? Five? Keep going. I mean, maybe there's more. Maybe I need to keep walking and see if there's anything else this way. Oh yeah, there's definitely more. These bars are broken. Something must have forced its way in here. Hmm. Only two games I'm looking at are Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rogue Trader. Okay. On PC or a different? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, Final Fantasy VII Remake is called Interrograde? Is that right? Because I was following it at one point and then I was like, is this the remake? I wasn't sure. It's an eight and a half hours. There you go. For US, it's 10. Steam always changes updates at seven, uh, sorry, 10 a.m. PST. Oh, okay. Australia, it's nearly always 3 a.m. in the morning and it's like sucks. Three, four, maybe 4 a.m. in the morning. So, um, yeah, I always have to wait until the next day. That is 50% off for a few weeks. Final Fantasy seven. Oh, have a look. I already found out. So a game I only just looked at found recently called, what is it called? Sticky Business. It's about opening up a, like a little sticker business right here. Sticky Business. Yeah. And it's like $14 if I buy it with the DLC and I'm like, mm, looks cute. Might just do that in my spare time. Not that I have a whole heap of spare time, but I keep, you know, like I think about it, right? <laughs> I'm like, wow, look at it. It's cute. <laughs> um... It just looks so cute. It just looks like a nice little idle game. Makes some cute, you know, like, but I'm like, Hannah, you don't need to. It's cheap. I could buy it, whatever. Final Fantasy. What do we have? Final Fantasy Integrate. Yeah, is Remake Integrate. See, the Remake Integrate is the part that confuses me. Oh God, it is 50% off. Hecky. Add that to my wish list. It's already 50% off, that's insane. And that was Crisis Core that came out, right? I'm still really interested to see the second part of this game come out. I, I kind of, I, I promised myself that I would wait until all parts of the story were out before playing it. <laughs> Even if I do see spoilers, unfortunately, at some point, I really wanna, I really wanna like kind of do it a bit back to back to back kind of effectively. Anyway, anyways. The wellspring is just a little further. I'll need to. Eyes getting sleepy. Yes, tap. Do it. 
It's on the wish list. Quick, let's buy it for wings. No, don't you dare, okay? I don't I don't expect anything, okay? I'm having an odd enough trouble trying to decide what to buy con. <laughs> Actually, I haven't bought anything for Kirsty yet either. I need to do that. It's fine. I'll talk to them. Planning to get a bunch of games since this will be the biggest sale of the year, so I'm screwed. <laughs> Whoopie day. Hillary said it seems. I don't have you added on Steam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. No need to do anything. What's going on on my phone? Sorry, give me a second. I got a message from my work group. Who's working tomorrow? <laughs> Sorry, I just- so I left an apple for my co-worker to eat because I was just gonna go home and eat another apple and they had to work all day so I thought I'd leave them the apple and they just messaged me being like, I forgot about the apple. <laughs> so who's working tomorrow? Who's gonna randomly see an apple? Oh no, actually- oh no, that was me. Okay, wait, that was today. Oh yeah, Fiend, Laura, or <laughs> my boss. I'm just gonna send them a message. Being like, hey, if there's an apple on the bench, just throw it out. <laughs> They'll probably throw it out, it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure Mill will take one look at it and be like, no. Alright, sorry. I do not have a PO box. I would love to have a PO box, but that costs money. I'm finding out it's not as much money as I thought it would be, which is insane to me. But, nah. Maybe that is a goal, not for next year, maybe the year after, I'm reckoning. Not, not next year. I have like a slow progression plan just for myself. So next year is hopefully going to actually be <laughs> getting a business number, an ABN, and actually uh, I would I want to get an ABN so I can actually, you know, tell the government, hey, I'm doing this. <laughs> and maybe I can figure out, you know, subsidizing some amount of money for using electricity for streaming or something. I don't know. I literally don't know. I, I need to look into it. I'm scared of doing it, but I hear it's not supposed to be that difficult either. How do I get you a gift then? You don't give me anything, obviously. What do you mean? It's nothing you need to get me. Open Opener just comes in, sees a random apple. Who broke in and left an apple? <laughs> Who would break in and leave an apple? Nah, it's alright, they'll probably chuck it. It's a pretty old apple. Or they'll leave it there until Saturday. And then I'll see it on Saturday and I'll be like, excellent apple time! And I'll just start eating my apple. I have like a collection of apples and I bought them over a week ago. So it's been like almost two weeks now I've had the apples. Um, and I haven't gotten around to eating them. I have to get you something for being so nice to me. No you don't. It's fine. Kindness should come at no cost, okay? You can quote me on that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Story. Oh, I'm controlling things. Leave apples around to scare away the doctors. Mmm, apple bandits. I like it. Good plan. Also, more pretty. love just everything here it's so pretty are you my next patient patient <laughs> are you my next patient no, no. wow oh thanks for your it has been quoted beautiful what to do huh? 
my turn. Good job, girl. <sighs> anyway, I like food. It's always really good. I'm really enjoying Octopath, guys. I hope you guys are excited for tomorrow also for the 12 hour stream. I'm still trying to decide what I kind of want to do because on one hand there's that part of me that's like let's play Octopath for the entire day. Um, just so we can really you know like finish off all the other like quest lines of all the different characters maybe and then see where else it goes from there on. Um, but on the other hand there's the part of me that's like well there could be other stuff still to do. My turn. Um. There is something I want to do, but I don't know if I'm going to be well, in the mood tomorrow, so I have to kind of see if I'm in the mood. Um, gotta see if I'm in the mood first and then right. go from there, you know? It had to be done. I know no cure for evil. Maybe I don't know. No, Tab. Dude, you need to make sure to pay for your own stuff. Focus on paying the things that you need in life, okay? That's that's payment enough, okay? That's right. I also have a computer that can run near. Oh my god, near! I have not played near. <laughs> I have it. I hear everyone talk about how good it is. Still haven't played it. Ah, <sighs> hand aches. Um, how many do I need? I always want to bring like several with me. Cleansing grape, an ingredient for medicinal. I don't know, Sam stuff. I have tons of it though, so I'm like, eh. might as well just use the money. Yeah. Nice. All right, save. I still want to keep leveling up till level 10 if I can. Need you to be rewarded for my kindness. Ah. We can always think of something cool. Save your money and then and then you can save up for something even bigger and better next time, okay? Ooh, armor. You guys save it for my birthday. <laughs> my birthday's in March. Not that far away any day. Patient. Well now. Yeah. yeah. Here I go. What to do? Don't hurt well, me. I'm just doing my best. There you go. My journey will not end here. Yeah, girl. Keep going. Why is my energy levels dropping? I feel so tired. Dude, I told you. You had to wear off the adrenaline. Your adrenaline's worn out. It's time to sleep, okay? It's all right. Have a good night's sleep tap, okay? Rest easy. It's all right. Life is too precious to risk. What to do? Here I go. Yeah. My turn. Here I go. Forgive me. I don't want to sleep. I want to hang with y'all. Why do we need sleep? To rest and recover, Tam. To rest and recover. Okay? It's alright. You've been awake for a really long time. You've been working real hard, okay? You're allowed to sleep. It's alright. I'll be right here if and when you ever wake up, okay? Well, I mean, for a little bit. 
only for a selection of time, but you know, if you fall on if you fall asleep, that's okay. You can wake up again. It's apparently a Life is Strange remaster. Um, Are you my yeah, next I think that came out a couple of years ago, right? A year ago, maybe. Well, no. Here I go. Yeah, obliterate the crab. I have a lot of health now. I swear before I only had like 400 health and now I'm already at like 600 health. Nutty. Here I go. I'm terribly sorry. Might Hope sleep till tomorrow. Good, good. Do I stream tomorrow? The plan. If I decide to follow through, we'll see. The plan is, um... Now. The plan is 11 till 11. I'm pretty sure. I might start sooner, depending on how I feel or what sort of things I need to do in the morning before I start. Um... I'm back. Welcome back, Aelin. Yeah, I'm thinking 11, because rather than doing 12 to 12, because it's a long period of time, if I do 11 till 11, you know, like, I can kind of choose, uh, once it gets to 11, I can kind of be like, all right, I'm actually really tired, I'll go to bed now, because I do have work the next day. Um, but I might start sooner for all I know. I'll definitely have to take a spoop on, <laughs> I'll take a spoop on um, Steam sales to see if there's anything I want to buy, even though I probably shouldn't. <laughs> about to pass out, it's okay. Sleep tap. Good night. Sleep well. Illy. Love you tap. Sleep well. What's happening tomorrow? 12 hour stream, Aelin! Woo! 12 hour stream. Let's go. Woohoo! Yeah. No, not 24, it's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be starting now. <laughs> Don't want that, I've already been awake in the majority of the day. <sighs> uh, we could do a 12 hour stream again sometime in the new year maybe. Not new new year, but like some point next year I'll do another 12 hour stream, a 24 hour stream. It's a lot of work. It's also one of those things where it's like in my brain, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of effort to try and like maintain at least some amount of, uh, some amount of enjoyment during that period. Well, you know, like trying to continuously like try and like say something that's interesting rather than my brain just zoning out, which will probably happen tomorrow anyway. You are poison that must be damaged. Damn, that's a big total. What to do? Yeah. Well now, I'm terribly sorry. Right. When I stream, I can only stream for an hour or two as it's quite tiring. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's one of those things where it's a built up well resistance. Now. I only did one two hour streams initially, and then I pushed to three, and then I did four. Now I'm you know, depending on the on the day, I'll do three or four. Um well, three and a half, probably on average. I can. I've done. I've done plenty of twelve-hour streams. I'm kind of wondering if I should ask if Jaden's around, or maybe if Con's free, we could do some seven days to die. Oh, but I know they don't really like being on stream all the time either. Maybe Jaden will be around for some. I always just want to play like games. Some other stuff I want to do too, though. I don't know. This power washing simulator? I need to sit and do my power washing simulator, guys. My turn. I know no cure for evil. Seven. Still going. I could game for 12 hours. Easy. Thanks to my ADHD time blind, but to actively st stream, game, and socialize, my attention says no. <laughs> I can do it. I, at some point, I definitely conk out mentally. <laughs> I get to that point where I'm like, 
or like maybe like no one's around because because I'm usually I mean this is not always but like when I used to stream during the day like most people would kind of drop off between maybe like two and like five because like the Australian or well, like maybe Australians might be coming home but Americans are falling asleep so it's that transition time between <laughs> Americans falling asleep Australians getting home from work and um uh Europeans waking up <laughs> it's a very very interesting period of time just between those couple of hours so. sleep tap good night you're doing amazing I want to see Han on Phasma you want to see me fa play Phasma for real I I mean if I can get a group of people to play it I'm down because I really I wouldn't mind trying out the game but Oh my god, so Adara and I, we've been looking at um, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. We've been watching MatPat play it. And it's so cool looking, like, see it all in, like, in person. And I'm like, I actually would love, like, I'm not super into, like, spoopy games. But, like, that actually looks like a lot of fun. I don't have a PC. I can't play it with you. Play Lethal Company. I actually had... Oh my god. I actually had my friend ask if we were interested in playing it. And I was like, listen, I would play it with you guys. <laughs> Even though I'm terrified of the game and I hate horror games. Well, Cause I've been watching it so much. It's so silly and terrifying. And it's what so funny just mean? seeing the characters just yeah. scream in game. I just think it would be so silly just playing well, it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lethal Company? Mm. Hi. <laughs> So, Lethal Company. This is the best way I can brief it. Lethal Company is basically a game where you, um, where you and like four friends or three or four. It's usually four people. You're being kind of paid really sketchy amount of money to go to a to a particular planet, and then you have to scavenge for items as much as you can so you have enough to pay to live basically I'm pretty sure is this thing you have to like you know you need to earn enough out of all of the parts that you're scavenging but you also have to be avoiding like different types of enemies so there's like a spider enemy which is terrifying I'd cry um there's god what else is there there's like staring enemies there there is an uh, there's a mod that's introduced a door enemy so that there's a door that says fire exit and only like some of them are real that's really cool first one was one of the few games i can watch to be honest that's fair silly sounds mod with, with the monsters aren't so scary mm. you're a space scrap collector who's a massive amount of debt to a company so you go to abandoned facilities and enter complexes with scary spooky monsters and threats no, there's an imposter enemy I saw once. Oh my god. Oh, the Smitty videos are so good, guys. You don't understand. I love Smitty. It's so weird to think that over the course of time, you know, like I used to watch Wildcat, Vanos, uh, just so many of them, like religiously, you know, like between Mini Lad, Terrorize, and Nogla. Like I used to watch all of them, like so much. And now it's like, no, just Smitty. I like Droid. I like watching Droid a lot too. Dro definitely Droid and Smitty are like the two ones that I'm like. Mm. I'll watch a little bit of Blog depending on the episode. Um, yeah, they so they did. It was, it was an episode where they found a mask, <laughs> and the ma when they put the mask on, it kills them, and then it makes them like a zombie, and it chases them around. It's terrifying. I love it. <sighs> and the description just sounds very much like IRL. It's sad. Something on my arm. Lemonade icy poles are the best. Just the basic ones. Mm. My my grandparents used to keep oh icy poles or just these really basic chocolate kind of ice cream ones in the in the fridge for us whenever we visited. Oh, I miss my grandparents. I don't I don't spend enough time actually trying to reach out to my relatives. I really should. Lemonade Icy Pole. Any brand. I respect that. Fuck yeah. I watched this one streamer called Wings of Exelion. She's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's alright. Not not too sketch, not too crazy. You know how it is. 
Actually, no, I would say the right amount of crazy. <laughs> How you doing, Viru? More crazy. Fuck yeah. That's my pop, but he's dead, so I can't reach out without a Ouija board. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. No, I have uh, one grandparent on my on my mum's side Your who has already passed. Must be purged. My turn. It's definitely kind of sad thinking about it because it's one of those things where, you know, like my nan um, is still alive, like more than 10 years later. So you kind of like, you know, it's definitely one of those things where you're like, wish that he could have like lived that long still. But well, now. he was a good person. He's great. What to do? <laughs> My mom's really against Ouija boards. Really? Isn't it all just bullshit? What to do? I'm terribly sorry. What's there to be scared of? Says she used one once and had an experience. What was the experience? Does she tell you? I know no cure. I want to hear this. I need to hear this. Does she- what was the experience? Did she talk about it? I need to know. My pop died in a car accident. He was the grandparent that picked me- picked me for being autistic without the actual name of it. But he was always like, this child is odd. Love her and treat her right, but she odd. <laughs> that is cute. I love that. Just made me promise to never use one. But there's a story there, right? There's a story there. How can you not want to know? <laughs> like, can you imagine? You know, it's like so. It's like if your mom was like looked you dead in the eyes and was like, "Don't say Bloody Mary in the mirror three times." Okay, like, wouldn't you be like, you know, like more than any other situation, you know, be like something happened there. It's like what happened? Was she drunk? And she said something happened that they didn't expect? Did something else happen? Because he never made me feel bad for how my brain worked and how I learned things. Yeah, no, it's good. I love that. My grandparent was amazing because he, um, um, so his, one of his child, so my auntie, um, she's, uh, has a physical disability. Um, and he was always so gun ho with trying to make things more able for her. So he was, he used to be the one to be like, I think, I'm trying to remember exactly the stuff, but like she would struggle trying to use maybe something like a protractor or something. Like at school she would struggle to use, um, to use things. And he was like, no, I can make something that can help her, you know, and actually would figure out a way to help her because, you know, like the ailment mainly in her left hand and she might need to use it to prop up things and whatever. Like he literally, created things to enable her to achieve in life and that is amazing like oh, goals so amazing i, I miss the imagining because of the ads i'm glad there's new ads no fear well too late <laughs> I wish my parents shame. I wish my parents shamed me so much. I think it's sad that it's like some parents are like so against it, while other people are like, "No, this is okay." You know, like my parents were always like fairly understanding. I was definitely odd, <laughs> but everyone knew it. <laughs> uh, I was happy, so you know, just waddle about my day. I'm a little oblivious, a little a little ditzy at points, but that's okay. Just call it a blonde streak and move on. Welcome back, Viru. Viru, I said, what did I say? I said, imagine, <laughs> that's right. I did a whole like, imagine your mom looked you dead in the eyes and was like, don't say Bloody Mary in the mirror three times, okay? Weird shit has happened. Wouldn't you sit there and be like, what the fuck happened? Like, wouldn't you immediately going to like, in spite of your mom, basically be like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find out what she did. Um, see if anything happens. Like, like the same thing with Ouija boards, right? Like, wouldn't you just sit there and be like, if someone tells you they had an experience in relation to it, I want to know what happened, okay? 
Why, why should I fear this thing? Is it stupid? Is it crazy? Were they drunk at the time? Were they high at the time? So many questions, okay? So many questions. Slenderman gave me a lot of sleepless nights. Mm. It's mainly zombies for me. I fucking hate zombies. I had a dream where zombies killed my entire family at one point. <laughs> and then I stopped playing the video game. <laughs> No, I really, okay, so I got, it was really funny. So seven days to die, right? I have a lot of trouble with because it specifically gives me zombie dreams and it scares me. But there's two things. Well, uh, two, two kind of like funny, funny-ish kind of things is that one, I stopped playing a game with a friend, playing seven days to die with a friend once because it was so funny. She was like, hey, because I was scared of things in the environment within the game. So, but um, she was like, hey, could you come upstairs and just cut down these trees? And I was like, yeah, sh sure. Are you sure there's nothing going to attack? No zombie dogs or anything? And she was like, yeah, no, it will be fine. Everything's clear. So I go up, hacking away at the trees. Um, and then literally as I'm going back towards the base after I've cut down all of the trees, a horde of zombie dogs come charging after me. Now the funny, and I've obviously started screaming in terror, but the funny thing was, was the way we had made our base was that there was like kind of a column that came out of the ground. And then there was like a little ramp. And the idea is obviously you go up the little ramp and then you do the jump. You do a little running jump and get into it. But I couldn't do the jump because I was so scared and my hands were shaking. I had to, I was mortified. I was like screaming and like running away. When I was finally safe and obviously my friends just like, what's going on? And like had to come over and like help me. I like escaped and went underneath and my hands were like fucking shaken. And I was like, I need to go. I don't think I went and had like a hot chocolate, came back. I think I played for a very little bit longer. And then just like, that was the last session I had with her and that's <laughs> so funny. And there was another time when, um, I feel a little bit bad about this, but it was also, so I was playing very, a lot of Seven Days to Die with, with the same friend. Um, we were playing a lot of it. But it got to the point where as soon as I got home from work or even from school, she would message like instantly to basically be like, hey, do you want to play games? And obviously I'm a people pleaser. I can't say no. Um, and it happened so much over the course of like two or three weeks that it got to the point where I was like, I, <laughs> I literally was like, I want to you know like she you know me being like stressing being like i can't spend time to myself because i know that as soon as i get home she's gonna ask to play games um just like excessively should still be doing stuff um um so my sister so and and you know it's one of those things where she'll send a message she'll send a message she'll send a message and then she'll call me so it was like excessive, <laughs> right? So when she got to the point where she called me, I like threw my phone away and was like, I'm not doing this. So my sister picked up the phone and literally was like, hi, we've banned Hannah from the internet because she's been playing too much and not focusing on work. And then, so my parents literally gave me an out. It was kind of funny. Because my parents would never actually ban me from this net. Dad. Dad Not promised a thousand times, but he never did it. Anyway. I mean, lots of weird stuff happens around me, so I don't really question much anymore. What weird things happen? <laughs> I have so many questions now. I never got impacted by those stories. It has taken me years to be able to go, no, full sentence. I still can't. <laughs> Literally can't. It is against my entire system of biography. I really struggle. I'm, I'd like to think I'm getting better. But in reality, it's just the difference between me literally just turning off my Discord notifications and being like, nope, if I don't hear the notification, then I don't gotta worry about it, now do I? Um, I think Adara tries to help me out sometimes, because God, sometimes, sometimes she'll, like, I'll ask her to do something, and then I can kind of tell that she's being a little bit of a smarter, so I'll look at her and be like, no, <laughs> you're getting your own drink. <laughs> I'm trying at least. You'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Here I go. I know no cure for evil. Do you think I'll be fine with level eight? I feel like level eight would be fine, right? I definitely feel like I level up too much in these parts. But on the other hand, after Oswald's, Oswald's was so difficult, and the rest of these are fine. 
Maybe it's just because I've been using the boosts more. Maybe it's my own fault. Ah, she be right. Go on. Look at this beautiful thing. Why is it green? Is it gonna be a frog? Poison frog calling it now. What is this foul smell? It's a smell. Borgo. This game's so pretty. It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all illness. Oh damn. Saying no is difficult. Mm -hmm. I think that's the part that why I like why I struggle also with like trying to like the idea of date someone is that obviously I'm I'm because I know that I struggle to say no to people. There's always that kind of fear of like, what if this person isn't worthy of me saying yes to? Because I know that as soon as I like someone enough, you know, like I'll just do whatever they say. <laughs> You know, I'd spend money on them. Like, ob obviously within reason. I'm not absolutely crazy about it. But that's also because I have the best friends and the best family. But, um, you know, like, it's definitely that sort of, like, thing of, like, concern of, like, you know, if I'm going to basically be, like, 100% into this, into this, like, <laughs> relationship, you know, like, I want to make sure that it's, like, a, you know, like, I know it sounds stupid, but like, but it's worth the money. It's worth the time. It's worth the emotional investment. Philip, hi. <laughs> yeah, my first serious relationship was like that. And now I refuse to date. That's okay. Just own it. Okay. Be like, bitch. I trust no one. <laughs> I'm going down with my trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that sounds like something. I just I want that on a shirt. I'm going down with my trust issues. <laughs> I was the I was the biggest people pleaser for him. And he can suck my dick. In a bad way. Obviously. I'm gonna take a break from DD and play some DD. I'll be or be. No worries. Enjoy. How you doing, Philip? How was your day? I'm 27, single, and I went to a uh, king single, and I went to a king single bed. Mmm, nice. No, my sister had, like, a bad, like, period of kind of a bit of a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back kind of thing. Um, so I banned her from dating men, at least. If she managed to date a woman, full go-ahead. Respect that so much. But I was like, no dating men um for like six months and now it's been like three years <laughs> well three four years um i'm still trying to figure out this whole dating thing so it reminds me i think someone friended me on this thing um someone liked my profile i haven't actually looked at it yet i think i'm too scared of people though there's also that problem too everyone is terrifying Um, but yeah, I have like this whole problem though, where, um, I don't know, like I feel like on dating apps, either the guy looks way too pretty or it's just not a flattering photo and I don't think anyone is attractive at all. You know, like it's one of those things where it's like, if I saw them in person, I might actually be like, wow, they look lovely, but because it's photos. And I think, like, I think that's, like, a particular thing, right? Like, when you think about someone and, like, their visage or whatever, like, you just become, like, very, like, you, you want to think the best of them. You want to see the best in them. While seeing, like, photos, it, it almost, because there's a photo, it enables you to kind of obsess over the individual and really, like, what's the word? Um, scrutinize their like picture and like what parts you might like or what parts you don't like about them so there's always that part of my brain that's like i feel like i'm scrutinizing the people's faces too much and that doesn't feel fair because i feel like that's just rude i should just look at them and be like wow they look nice anyway i mean aside from my throat throat having doing okay okay well, that's all right that's fair man i am I'm, I'm doing good too. I'm tired, but I had a mini nap. Uh, Dara and I got schnitz. Woo! I mean, you're doing better than I am. I've never been on a date in my life. That's okay, man. I had neither until literally less than six months ago. Look at where we go. I had four crushes in my 30 years. Damn. Good morning, Morgan. How you doing? 
I don't think I can ever trust a man well enough to date one again. And I'm aware that there's a lot of that is me and trauma. Yeah. I think that's the thing that frustrates me is that I know that I have this bias not to trust people. Like men, specifically. I love females. Females, I just, like, I see a female and I'm like, yo, we could be friends, you look like a great human being. Like, don't get me wrong, there's still the bitches out there, but... Like, most of it, like, there's just people that I'm like, I look at them and I'm like, yes, we could be friends, we'd be cool, we could have, like, little dates, it would be amazing. Like, it's almost like my brain, the idea of dating a female is kind of, like, in my brain means that there's, hmm. I think my, per my brain is predisposed to expect men want sex in some capacity. While females, if I dated a female, there would be no expectation for that. Even though that's not true, right? <laughs> but my brain is predisposed to it. So my brain's always like, I can trust females, we'll have a great time, and everything will be really chill, will be comfortable, I'll love it, you know? Well, if it was with a guy, I'm like, standoffish, not entirely sure. You know, like, still happy to talk, but a lot more nervous, a lot more thing. And I don't know how that works. Four days to happy holidays. It's insane that it's only four days, isn't it? Men are more direct about a sexual wants. Women are more subtle. Hmm. Hmm. And I... I don't know. I need to figure it out. I don't understand it at all. I want, I want to be better, though. I think that's why, like, there's that, always that part of me that's like, maybe I should just try dating a woman. But then there's the other part of me that's like, no, I want to try and date a guy and try and work on breaking down my misconceptions because I think it's one of those things where it's like I need a male that I trust or at least is willing to illustrate and talk me through a lot of these things to try and break away those 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 barriers in my brain so take it full on but I just have to find the right person also don't want to deal with it with sexual co component of dating gives me the ick in gives me the ick ace gives me the ick right okay sorry <laughs> I was just trying to figure out the phrasing um yeah no same but also but that's the weird thing right is that obviously for me it's like there would be no capacity of that whatsoever but so there's always that fear of like you know, like, if I do go on a date and they kind of expect me to do something eventually, it's like, no, you don't understand. This is probably a, like, maybe if we've been married for, like, ten years <laughs> you know, kind of proposal. Asexual, that's cool. I have the romance feels, but not the asexual section. Mm. Has a lot to do with porn, too. Porn creates an unhealthy idea about sexual advances and actions. Hmm. So it depends on the maturity of the person. Yeah, exactly. I was talking about it with my, my co-worker at work. And she was literally like... What'd she say? She said... I forgot what I was going to say. What'd she say? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we just made a comment about how, like, all the good people are... Ta like, there was, like, for all, like, the absolutely like, perfect men out there, there's probably only, like, one in, like, a million. Um, And even then, that person's probably married, so... But it was really interesting too because when I caught up with my cousin last time, um, my sister and I and my cousin, we all talked about how like our dads are amazing. They're brothers, obviously. <laughs> Must be a genetic thing. Um, <laughs> are all like really nice people, you know? Like they, they're like absolutely willing, like so devoted to their wives. They love them. They're very like selfless and serving and stuff like that. Like they're just willing to do like they do so much you know for for their family for their kids for their spouses um they're just truly amazing people <laughs> so how do you find a guy that stands up to that level of awesomeness i don't know i literally have no idea i will also never have kids which also turns people off there's always some people though that don't have it don't want any kids I have to address all the trauma or undiagnosed autism and masking and how it's impacted me and discovering myself and preferences before I even look at the idea of dating. Mm. Sounds like something I should do. <laughs> Just a little bit of it, not all of it. 
an element of it. Standards are high! Woo! <laughs> Kids are sticky and gross. They are. I will agree. As I was a kid that was like, I gave a little wave to while I was making coffee. And she, I, you know, she gave me a big smile and waved back and I gave her an even bigger smile and waved back. It was so cute though. <laughs> Made my day. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like my standards, it's so weird, right? Though, you know, how people are always like, you can have your standards really like way too high, but then it's the opposite of like, no, your standards should be high because you know, you, you, you know, X, Y, and Z. So the standards of you all is me. Sorry guys, I'm taken. I know, you're such a great guy, Philip. You're literally another and fantastic example. You're wonderful, you're nice, you understand, like, you go on, like, little dates together with your wife. You're just so cute! You're so perfect! For, for you, you're so perfect for your wife, okay? <laughs> you're just so wonderful. I'm like, fuck. Everyone should be a Philip, guys. <laughs> Kids can't be cute, just don't let them touch me. That's fair. Philip's just too good. He's too stunning. I wouldn't mind having at least one kid to have the family tree going, but I just never found the person to have it with. Mm, mm, yeah, exactly. I always like the idea of, I like, I don't know. It's always that part of my brain that's also like, yeah, keep the family tree going. Um, literally doesn't matter that much, but. I don't know. There's a lot of romanticizing that I have in the concept of it. Um, so again, like whenever I think about dating someone, there's two sides of my brain kind of fighting. Goodbye, cop. <laughs> um, there's two sides of my my brain fighting where it's like the one side is that's super romanticizing everything. This could be the one. Da -da 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 -da. And there's the other part of my brain that's like, Hannah, you need to be rational about this. Okay, there is a hundred thousand people in this world. There is no guarantee that this person's going to be the one. They could turn out to be absolutely horrible. You need to be really rational about everything. Um, because, you know, I don't want to be taken advantage of and all of the X, Y, and Z, you know, like there's just these two parts in my brain <laughs> and they do thumb wars with each other. <laughs> Why is that a great way of doing it, of saying that? It's two sides of my brain, and they have thumb wars with each other. Not a good quote. Oh, kids, I'm gonna hear that so much on Christmas. I know, Philip, I'm really- I keep worrying about it for you, on your behalf. All week I've just been thinking, oh, poor Philip. <laughs> I'm like, is he gonna be okay getting through Christmas? Philip, you're amazing. Just tell them, I don't like sex, bitch, and then just walk away. And then take a massive chug of vodka, all right? <laughs> then go back your day, you'll be fine. No blood-related kids for me. Not gonna risk passing on the genetic damage to kidneys to a kid. But open to adoption. No, that's fair. Well, it's overpopulated. That too is the thing I go to when people are like, but kids! And then they realize that's not the hill to die on in this convo. So it's like the hill to die on in this convo is, you know, like, people being actually able to buy a house. <laughs> buy and live in a house, that'd be great. Speaking of babies, my cousin expecting her second kid very soon. Ooh, that's cool. I'm still waiting for my, <laughs> I'm still waiting for one of my cousins to announce that she's uh, pregnant. Not that I know that she is or not, but like, I think they're, how many years into the, I think she's been married for about four or five years now. No, no, maybe it's only been two. Cause it was just after COVID. Maybe it was 22, maybe it's only been two years. Shit. Well that or her brother. I have another cousin who's been married since 2017. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for one of them to announce that they're having kids or something, but maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't. So seven proficiencies plus a feat on level one. Hell yeah. Now then. What is it that's made all this mess? I've got rogues get four proficiencies and I also get athletics and perception because of my background and another proficiency of my choice because she's a variant and a feat as well because variant human. Mmm, I love that. I can't even take care of me. Eh? 
and often want to be not be around so not the best environment to reflect on a kid no that's fair and that's the good thing right that's that is the great thing about our generation is that we at least have the capacity to be like should i have a kid and then you think "Mm, you know what no i shouldn't have a kid when obviously like back in our parents generation you know it was almost like guaranteed that basically like people just want and or have kids for one reason or another (laughs) Well, our generation's very much, like, decided to kind of take a step back and be like, "Mm, maybe not for me. Maybe not for me. Anyway, let's keep going. God, I keep fluffing about. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. (gasps) Oh my god! Effluvium! Hi. I thought it was going to be a frog. Not a frog. I think I found the source. Shockers. Poison monkeys. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Oh, they've been infected, but they're not. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all who drink it. <laughs> I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. <laughs> Nice voice acting. <sighs> we pranked my mother to got told she couldn't after her chemo as a child. Time so... to clean up this mess. My shouldn't shouldn't have had kids. Quite down. That's really sad. To basically be like, hey, don't do, do this because it'd probably go badly for your kid. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> I am unwell. <laughs> All right. No. My turn. This will cool you down. This will hurt. Cool you down now. <laughs> Love you, Morgan. Doing great. And sprinkle positivity. Yeah. So, hmm? Sorry, I'm just battle music here. It's hard. Fuck yeah, she says, clicking away so she can catch up on chat. I don't want a kid at all. I'd not be a good parent, nor do I want to be your parent. That's for you. We respect. Let's go. Skyrim. I found a mod for Skyrim where you can get your own big ship, hire people to work for you, and renovate it as well. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Skyrim mods make me sad because they aren't all available for X- Xbox. Mm, no, I respect that. Ice cool again? Poison. Woo. Hold it together. I really need health. How much health am I getting each turn? Oh, shizzle pops. I might die. Oh, God. At this 
this rate. It's alright, it's alright, oh, it's alright, we got some healing. I require this. 500, right? Yeah. I am unwell. Why am I doing this by myself? That does a lot of poison damage. That's right, I should be fine. Stop poisoning me, bro. I'll be fine. Hmm? Next month is gonna be pretty dull since I gotta move house. Mmm. Where are allies at? I know, right? I don't know where they went. Heal! -de 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 -de. I require this. Yeah, you do. Here I go. All right. My turn. Please stop hurting me. I'm doing my best. Stop. Well, now. I should heal again. Or keep attacking! I love that she uses an axe. I definitely feel like I'm gonna use her in the long run, even though I don't understand her, like, some of the stuff she does. Come on, he should be close, surely. Please stop smirking at me, Vernon. Doran ate Vernon? What? Doran, no! Baron! Baron, no! Come back and smirk at me! Horrible. Just cannibalized its own kind. I mean, don't we all at some point? <laughs> Nutty. What a noisome odor. Noisome? Is that a word? Cannibalizing its own empower it somehow? Well, I was right about being halfway. I'll need to handle this quickly. Okay. My turn. Fuck. I'm gonna heal first. Or maybe I shouldn't. This will cool you down. <laughs> okay, now I'll heal. <laughs> At this rate, I require this. Hey, Quas. Cool. Mercy, mercy. Have a good nap. Yeah, see you, little. I am unwell. I love you. Have a good nap. Cast these light in power. You can concoct without any materials. Oh, cool. I haven't been using any of that, but I'll I'll know it. Um. I I mean I don't know. Maybe maybe this one. Wait, do I have the right buttons? I extend a helping hand. Okay, blue. Wait, I can do two at once? Oh, <gasps> that's kind of nutty. All right. Naughty deeds earn bitter medicine. Okay, dark. Cool, good to know. Here I go. This'll cool you down. Nice. <laughs> okay. What to do? What to do? Do this it. Will teach you. I'm terribly sorry. Fucking spray him, brother. Well now. Use all the concoctions. This will cool you down. I mean, noisome is a word, but I've never used it as a describer for my smell. Hmm. Okay. Surely it's like irritating, right? Sit in for unpleasant. Yeah. Okay, it's close. What to do? What to I've been using it wrong. 
In that context, it made it sound like it was irritating. Or bad, at least. What's this bitch doing? I have Light and power. This you. one. This. Naughty deeds are a bitter medicine. Nice. Here I go. This will teach you. No! I love the particle effects in this game. Okay, so I do actually use three at once when I do that. Okay. Oh, I should probably heal. Let's heal. I require this. I should be close. I don't know how, but I should be. Use one of these. Please don't poison me, my buddy. Uh oh. Alright. That's okay. This'll cool you down. It had to be done. <gasps> Yay! God, I was that close. <laughs> My journey will not <gasps> Well, I was right about being close. Still didn't get a level up. Dang. Got the mids. Hell yeah. Don't think badly. Back of to being me. comfy. Is this an old game? No. Yeah, it came out this year. This came out October 20th? It was near the end of October. Maybe 25th or something. It was near the end of October. Um, and I thought about playing it at the time. I heard it was really good um but I was like I think I held back because takes care of the root of this illness I was about to go back in so every March in the past I'll play I'll go back and I'll play like kind of like classic games that I had liked to play when I was a kid so like DK64 um what else did I play um DK64 Banjo Kazooie Banjo Tooie ukulele kind of a bit of a like a collectathon kind of March sort of thing um so I was like, oh, I, I won't buy it. And I knew that as soon as I finished doing all of that, I was then go, going to get into an early kind of, because usually I do like a Zelda month for May, but I pushed it forward to April because I knew that as soon as it got to Tears of the Kingdom coming out, I would be playing it for another month again. And there was a few games I wanted to play before then. Anyway, so <laughs> it's so weird thinking about it because I remember being like, all right, from like the end of March through to basically mid-June was all kind of pre-planned very meticulously because um, there was, I got to play, um, God, what's it called? Minish Cap. I got to play Minish Cap for the first time. I played A Link to the Past for the first time and then I replayed and I did a very thorough playthrough of Breath of the Wild, then obviously Tears of the Kingdom. All the way through to June. <laughs> Very meticulous. All that's left is to sprinkle pure on leaves around. One day after my birthday. Literally. Here you go. Banjo three. <laughs> Can you fix With it? Time, the corruption here should fade. Hopefully. How long though? There. A dash or two of pure bomb for myself too. I won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Yes, fine. Now, back to town to relay the good news. Gives me old fighter game vibes. It is really good that that way. I think that's why I like enjoy playing these games because um I know that I Look, that apothecary is back. I know I struggle at trying to play games that are a little bit older. You know, like I look at Chrono's Trigger and I Chrono, Chrono Trigger and I'm like, eh, not my thing. But then I play something like this, I'm like, oh, actually. <laughs> and then I'd like to play Sea of, St uh, sea of Stars, obviously, too, so. Joking here. About Banjo 3. But Banjo 3, it existed in another timeline. It was there. 
but we got nuts and bolts. <laughs> Can't emotionally deal. I've got a list of games I have to finish before I can find new ones. Hi, Stania. Stania, I actually had a question for you. Um, I was wondering how far you got with, because I sent you the entire document of the fan fiction I was writing. How far did you get? <laughs> Banjo 3. Still an alpha. No. I did in fact read all of it. You read all of it? <laughs> all of it. Even late, like, 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 all, like, to the bottom, the finish? Including the bitty bits. Oh. Thoughts? <laughs> Happy? Interesting? Though I did skim the bitty bits mostly. That's fair. Some of the bitty bits are some of the best bitty bit parts, I'd argue, but that's just me. <laughs> Obviously, it's not fully written out either. General thoughts. It's good. It's bad. I should never oh, let it see the light of day, because I can do that. <laughs> I'll never let it see the light of day if necessary. <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry about that. I cleared the source of the infection polluting your water. I sleepy as fuck, so I'm a pass out. Love you, everyone. Good night, Aelin. Sleep well. Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all Especially your what I said already in some comments you left there yourself. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'll have to finish writing it properly at some point. How is he? Back on his feet and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. Yeah, good job casting. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? This is really interesting because compared to like other storylines. Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. GG. Is that it's almost like she's trying to Although revitalize the tr the faith plans. in the blue apothecaries. Anything. Just name it, Casty. May I borrow your bath? Ha ha ha. Goes a bit fast. Do you like the story? Not sure not not sure hockey is quite the right thing. Shanks getting knocked out there does I'm seem unlikely. Yeah, well, when I wrote it, <laughs> I wrote that scene but it's time for me years ago. <laughs> the open road is called. This is a really stupid thing. I wrote that scene. That was probably one of the first scenes I wrote back in like 2018, right? Um, because I kept it and then kind of like moved it and shuffled it around to kind of fit into place with the the larger story, and then finding out that he's actually like the best person at hockey like there's literally no one who's supposed to be comparable to him i'm like well that doesn't stand up but <laughs> i'm always aware of the problem so it's fine yeah here you get him truly drunk and reduce the unconsciousness time yeah no that's fair okay 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 malaya May I ask what it is that compels you to travel? Things to think about. I'm always trying to like figure out stuff like that and then try and incorporate it in different locations. Disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. Oh, okay. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Yeah, Malaya. Is there anything I can do to assist you? No. This is my problem. My burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. We're gonna find out the I'm reconnect at some capacity. I need to know who their apothecaries are. Seeing a make it not quite hockey, but more of a bloodline and thing like the princess. I as well. Yeah, I can't okay. Rest until I know. Gives a reason to hunt down the family. But you seem to know something about them. Did I in the version I gave you, did you have a prologue? Oh 
God, I can't remember. I think I left a little bit of a prologue in, I think, actually, in the original. Well, obviously the idea is, is that I, I think the idea was I didn't want to make a whole thing of like who her parents might be or whatever. It was more just supposed to be like an oops. You know, like a one in a thousand sort of thing. I was thinking about it in relation to there is that one kid. <sighs> What's her name? That one kid in Skypia who has really good observation hockey, even though she's a child. That was kind of the idea I had. I could seriously go for a cookie brownie right now. Fuck yeah. I can't remember either. I did say I was skimming the bitty bits. No, no, it's all right. That's mm. alright. I definitely feel like I'm gonna end up kind of know. leaving that story in the woodworks and just kind of focus on my other story <laughs> now. Don't know for sure. I'm always just trying to like meticulously plan everything in my life. Which is not surprising. It's the goal. I want to see if I can write a full book in two years. That's the goal. Full book in two years. And I'm six months in. And I have 20,000 words written. Which means that if I keep, well, almost 20,000 words. So, actually it's probably been a bit longer than that, but still. If I can, if I can keep on that pace, I should have a good 1,020, 1,000, 120,000-word book written by probably not middle of next year, middle of the year after. So that's the goal. It's still better than a lot of stuff on AO3. <laughs> Thanks, Estania. I mean, it's it's very comprehensive. At least I know a lot of people who write like stories. Obviously. Like, I, it's so interesting how there's always, like, two aspects. There's several different aspects of AO3. You know, like, there's the stuff that's pure smut. There's the stuff that's pure fluff. And then there's the stuff that's really, really short. <laughs> and then there's the stuff that's super, super long. And it's just this weird culmination of everything. So... Mastamik. Fair. But yeah, there's potential. It's a fairly obvious first fanfic. But honestly, that's fine. No, that's good. This fan. Hello! Oh, is she just gonna hang out here? That's interesting. What? Casty. I was wondering if it was Malaya. You have the power to save lives more than any other. That's why you have to live. Is this because I did the inquire? What happened? <laughs> I'm freaking out. What? So she was the one who put me on the boat. Anyone can create a cure. It's you. Wait, so who who did I just meet then? Why is she how did she now. survive? What's going on? Oh my god, guys. What the fuck? Does she remember that now? She was unconscious. Oh no, this is my Malaya. She has a wolf friend or is he just dead? Oh my god. Live, Casty. There's someone you have to save. Someone you have to save. Who? Scared the ever-loving bejeebus out of me. It can't be. I pray your memory returns, Casty. One day. Oh my god. Farewell. Wait! What? Wait. What? Was she even there? She was all just an illusion? That woman in my vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What? What's going on? I was wondering if she was the girl from the backstory. I couldn't quite remember Malaya. what the voice was. 
What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... <clears throat> Malaya. Naughty! Yo, abs. Guys, I think I made one of the biggest mistakes of my life. I downloaded Final Fantasy XIV online. Malaya. Yes, let's go! Let's suffer together, abs. Let's go. I'm down. It was Malaya who put me aboard that skiff. Why? Who or what were we running from? Pause. Give me a second, bud. <sighs> if only I could remember. I need more clues. Something else. Suffer to together. Go. When did you even last log in hand? What do you mean? It's uh, literally in the bottom of my satchel. Probably three, four weeks ago when we first played, last Look. played. Treat I'm gonna start tomorrow though. It's a trial version. Yee. In my hands, I held a diary, one I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patients seen. Okay. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Sigh and Winter Bloom, more notable by far. It's covered with blood. What? Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. Ew! Gross! What in the <laughs> world is the story here? Yeah, what is going on? This game is so much darker. Like, I thought this would be for kids. I really did. Now it's, like, way too intricate. It's time I went on my I was Octopath, journey. by the way. I'm considering pick it up. This journal is the I only definitely recommend. I I bought this for because it was sixty dollars. <laughs> uh, it was on special. I've been waiting all year for it to be on special. Um, <laughs> um, finally bought it. It's so far. I have like so many questions. It's so interesting. Obviously, there's like eight different storylines all unraveling, and I'm like trying to. I'm, like, I'm playing through the first chapter of each character, and then I have to go through and do all the chapters for the other people. It's it's a lot of backwards and forwarding. I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but we're, we're finding shit out. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else. Something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. Dramatically walks away into the distance. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Cool. I shall note that down. Australia region, I'm assuming. Yee. Yeah, if you want to join us, data center primal world fan freak. Oh yeah, we're on a north. Yeah, whatever Daft's saying, just listen to Daft. So Cassie leaves the poor town. Why had she been in such a drift on open seas? What link does she have with heirs apothecaries? And who is the mysterious healer Malaya? In order to reclaim her lost memories, Cassie set out on a journey. <laughs> I trust in this chat. Wait, why? <laughs> I like how Inflict is always watching too. It's because you guys are always sitting in a chat. You're always still like sitting in a chat together, like. <laughs> Any ache, pain, or ill, I'll patch you right up. I'm sure you won't regret having me around. You choose the road for now, and I'll follow. Yo, thank you. Um, replace an existing mem party member. I'm gonna replace Temenos. <laughs> She has so much health. Why does she have so much health compared to everyone else? Sorry, Temenos. Nice. Look at us. Look at us go. Hello? That's a long...
Get all the things. I tell you call us out like that, Han. I thought we were friends. I'm not calling you guys out. I'm just saying stating the truth. Am I wrong? <laughs> we're all creatures of habit. I've I think I've developed enough of an understanding of y'all habits to understand what's going on. Duet with the waves. Nice. What's going on over here? What's this guy? I believe it, the lighthouse reflector is broken. Who could have seen this happening? Without a reflector, the light won't be visible until ships are practically on the rocks. It's a recipe for disaster. Problem is, the reflector is made of a special alloy called Aelomorite. And that's not easy to come by. I suppose another lighthouse might have a spare reflector if they're willing to part with it. Okie dokie. Is there a place where I can sleep? Hi. How you doing? Any good shit? So why is so many different things here? I'm like, uh, I don't know. 8,000? Oof, I shouldn't do that. I don't think I have enough money yet to really... So what's everyone's levels? 10, 8, which chat's still 1, right, because I need to play through a storyline still. Kind of tempted to just keep walking. Mug this person? No! Why would you do that? That's horrible. Cheap it is. Alright, where can I sleep? Here, over here. What can you do for you? Mm hmm. Creatures of habit. I mean, I, just, I did just download Final Fantasy XIV, so we'll see how far my habit takes us. It's fair, man. Where is the sleep? Hello? Ooh! Item! Nice. I like the sparkles. Where can I sleep? Oh wait, over here. Literally has a fucking moon on it. There we go. Alright, 60. It's not too bad. Nice. See you around, buckaroon. Alright. Now we're gonna save. Just out here. Look at us run. We're friends! Got our adventures together. Alright. We are- am I going the right way? I think I'm gonna keep going. So we need to go side. Okay, so I didn't down his Hikari. Which I forgot to read his summary, so I actually have no idea what's happening with his story. And then... Petitio. Maybe I'll go down and then up. And then up here. Okay, that's a chat's second part of the storyline. That's level 29. It's interesting how, like, the leveling system for different people here is, obviously... You know, like, chapter 2 is level 18, chapter 2 is level 7, chapter 2 is... Like, I don't actually know what's going on. I can just teleport here, right? I can. Cool. Alright. Which has <laughs> chapter 2 over here. Level 37. Chapter 2. 24, 16... Sounds like a lot of this game is obviously dependent on you actually, like, going from point A to point B and, like, developing your XP from there. I definitely feel like I want to try and get everyone and then develop all of their XP in maybe, like, a specific location. It might be good to go up here and then go all the way up here, maybe, if I can. Maybe do XP farming around here somewhere. Depending on the roots at difficulty level. Or root of my own. Danger level 11. Actually, this might be a good place to do some XP farming. We'll see how it goes. Pretty game. Oh god, there's a lot here. 
A lot going on. What to do? What to do indeed. Thinking time. Thinking time. <laughs> okay. My turn. Yeah. God, that was so much damage for the Bebe. Oh, I forgot he has an axe too. Okay, that's good to know. Wow, she did. What to do? I mean, she is only level one, so that's on me. Keep lifting up my arm. <laughs> I have to keep like lifting my like wrist to like make it happen. To my turn. Keep going. Ready? Just eat this. No. And done. Well now. Damn it, not quite. <laughs> so much damage. My turn. That's right, think about all the XP I'll get from this. What to do? Oof, that was so Thinking much damage. Uh. <laughs> nice. Let's go. You never fit. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> there. <laughs> My turn. Let's eat this. No. Anything else? <laughs> yeah? Okay. And Still done. keep going. What to do? And dead. Uh. Yes. How much XP? Please be a heap. Yas. No, our chat doesn't get it because she was dead. Oof. All right, back we go. Oh my god. All right, definitely thinking about doing the other starter missions first. Rest up, everybody. Oh, poor old Chet. It shows her collapsed. All right, let's go do a Chet some uh, front story. I don't know why my brain's like, oh, I don't care about her. And I'm like, I don't know why my brain is so blase about her. All right, I'm just over here, right? Oh, wait, let's save. Save again. And then I'll have to do some more footwork at some point. Alrighty. Alright, here's his level 14 quest here. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, that's something I need to do. Alright. Long ago, there were three creatures of legend. A bird. Uh, obviously, Ho-Oh. Oh, -Oh Garadados, and... God, what Pokemon does that look like? I'm thinking of, uh... Am I thinking of Giratina? What am I thinking of? I don't know. 
Pokemon. Three creatures watched over the island for many years before departing to become guardians of other lands. Cool. Why? Groudon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Groudon does kind of look like Rayquaza. I'm just thinking more of something more water type, I guess. But yeah, Groudon is what I was thinking. Should their might be needed again, they must be called back to the island before the calamity of the Night of the Scarlet Moon. Here we go. Doobity doobity do. Cannot spell today. That's okay. They, that's spelt right in my brain. <laughs> hey, Bert. How you doing, buddy? Think about scones now. Oh, Chet, my apprentice. What the fuck? What? Why is the lion talking? There's talking lions? One day, you will be a hunter. I chose the fox. A hunter? I had a feeling there was lore implications behind them. A protector of the island, culling any creatures who threaten its balance. Voice sounds familiar. And a protector of the island needs a loyal companion. A companion. Mm. So just auto chooses Jack, them. Radiant in the sun's grace. Because as soon as it said that I had a choice between the two different things, I was like, shit, this lore implications is why I did why you were supposed to choose. It's a bit disappointing, really. I should have not have. Its fangs it. are made to tear the flesh of its prey. Making them formidable weapons. And also super cute doggers. Keep you warm. That's the real reason to have a wolfer. The Malama Owl. Burp. Serene in the grace of the moon. Why can't I have both? Its wings shape the air's currents and magical power too. <sighs> All right. Both are among the rarest creatures known. Duck and cover. No. You must Me? choose. Good. How are y'all? Doing all right? Hanging out. I'm sleepy. And Been having a long chosen day. one, you must befriend it. Go ahead. Try. Cut off my arm and feed it to him. Which one should I choose? We already know which one we're choosing, mate. Fuck so. There you go. <laughs> I like you. Yeah. I'm going to call you Akala. Akala. Like the Getting place in Tears of the Kingdom. I want to play Tears of the Kingdom again so much, guys. I just keep thinking about it. And my brain goes burr. It's so good. Thank you, Master Juva. So why is the lion talking? Did we ever approach that? I don't know. It's a mythical game. Oh shit. What is the meaning of this? It's acting strangely. No, my owl friend! Stay back, Ochet. It could be dangerous. What? <gasps> Bitch, you didn't choose me! I'm gonna fucking carve out your skull. Oh, Chet. Why did it hit me? Ow. Oh, baby girl. Wow, bitch was that jealous. <laughs> big girl. She's a big girl. That's okay. It's okay. That was odd. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Don't you worry. Because it's Nanya. Got it. Did you see the new Zelda? You mean Tears of the Kingdom or something else? I just love Tears of the Kingdom. I like talking about it. It's the best game, obviously, in the entire world. I can smell it. Smell what? The scent of our quarry. It's close. The scent Very of our close. quarry. You want to ask today? 
There you are, Mr. King Iguana. Bert, are you lying to me? <laughs> Massively skeptical. I would never lie. Okay, so if I Google it right now, listen, my fucking Twitter feed would tell me. Arc of the Twily. Why would they do Twily after it is the my my I would it would be it would be on my Twitter feed. It would be on my Twitter feed. Come on. Don't Twitter down. Why am I talking about Twitter being down? Shake my head. My goodness. Exactly. Seem nothing on Twitter. Twitter knows everything. If it's not on Twitter, it's a lie. Moving on. Huh? You eat too much, and you've gotten too big. Made you look there. It's yeah, you did. More than your share. The forest belongs to everyone. Sorry, but I'm here to hunt you, and then get back in time for breakfast. Come on, Akala. I'm the hunter. You're the prey. Oh here God! Go. Straight into it. Fucking. Why am I? I'm a child. What is happening? Provoke? Why would I provoke him? What's going on? Huh? Alright, I'm a tiny shell yeah. taking on a beast by myself. Straight into it. Ow. Here we go. Ta time to finish this. Time to finish this game. My How could you burn? Just what I do, Philip. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there, like, literally, like, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I may not follow everything on Twitter, okay? I may not follow everything in relation to, like, games and stuff like that. There's the other part of my brain that's like, I would know, surely. It would have been all over my, it would have been all over my YouTube, it would have been all over my Twitter, it would have been all over. <laughs> There's just so many elements where it's like, nah, I can't have it. Literally. <sighs> right. Aha. No time like the present. Are you sure? Let's see how fast we can capture him. Why am I capturing him? Oh my god, it's Monster Hunter? What's happening? Capture success rates increase when an enemy's HP is lowered. The weaknesses are exposed. They are afflicted with status ailments and or if they're broken. Okay, so Pokemon. Note, however, that there are certain rare enemies whose capture rates will remain low or those that cannot be captured at all. After defeating a monster, a chest also has a set chance of automatically capturing it. Okay. Ouch. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Alrighty. Big What's guy. It's Monster Hunter. <sighs> this is Monster Hunter. Dara, don't you remember? Don't you remember Monster Hunter? Good old Monster Hunter. Hi. Hey, Han. Hi, I love you too. I love you too, Ted.
you're lucky enough, go for all the food for Sunday Christmas. Uh, no, she'll probably bring the fruit cake and do nothing else. I don't know, she's teaching Jess to do it. I know. So she might still want to cook something. <laughs> <laughs> she might have cooking energy. Oh, I don't know. Um, Hi, Dario. How do you. Hey, cheese. Um, How you doing? How you doing? Um, cheese. Yes. How amazing you are. Yes. Yeah, and how you're so looking forward to your last day of work for the year. Doesn't that sound cool? Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You love work. <laughs> I've been too tired to think about it. That's valid. That's valid. It's been a stressful time. <laughs> I'm doing it. I've been doing so well not to bite my nails, and then I just chewed a wall off this week. No. And I'm like, all my good work has been on this. They still look great! Oh, that looks fine. That's my last remaining hair, but this hair is looking pretty good. Ooh. Gotta believe in the calcium. The calcium. Mm. It's probably hot. Drink more milk. Just skull the zimmel. Um, yes. What about what? Right? It was definitely about what. Yeah, when do you think it'll be hard to find? Hmm. Anytime. Like, my boss might tell me to like, pack up a three, <laughs> but I might be around talking or drinking for two hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll have her five ish, though. Okay, no worries. Um, there is that we're hoping to go out and party on Friday and have since gotten other plans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's pretty much. I mean, yeah, it is literally three, four days before Christmas. Yeah. Team sales start tomorrow too. Oh, no, no, no. In case you want to just throw some money at the wall where you won't probably yeah. use the majority of it. My manager usually gets me a pretty like, difficult for Steam. Mm -hmm. And this year I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going like, to spend it on. I'm like, there's so many things! What do you mean? Play again. Yes. I'm trying to play through all the games I currently have. Yeah, well that's... A massive backlog. Yeah, I mean that's my next 50 years already well, set that's up. okay. You can still like, oh. just buy something and set it to the pile. Just chuck it in. Um, and then, you know, I had that issue one year where I did buy something with the card, but then for some reason it I do not remember that, that but okay. okay. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I burned my chico roll! Oh no! What is a chico roll anyway? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's in the name. <laughs> is it a chicken roll? So that's why it's called a chico roll? Or is it something else entirely? Is it a sausage or a roll? Oh god, I keep thinking about hot dogs. And I'm like, that's shit. Also, like, I didn't tell you about it, but today I whacked my hand really hard into one of like the, the door handles and I didn't realize like it was one of those things where I hit it and I was like wow that really hurt and then I was like you know I was busy doing stuff so I just kind of ignored it and then I like saw like the scrape across here and it's like tender and I'm like and I was like looking at it and I'm like oh yeah that does look like it'd be really painful. <laughs> yeah, that was funny today. I was at work and I, I turned around to my colleague and I'm like, I'm really excited because all these people are sending things into me and I feel super productive today. Mm -hmm. And about like 20 minutes later, I was banging my hands to the table like, why? Mm -hmm. And they're like, are you okay? Has it stopped being good news? I'm like, no, there's just a lot and it's almost my break. I'm like, <laughs> why does it have to happen now? Can people just keep sending this through a little longer? <laughs> because you know as soon as you get to Jan, everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's school holidays, it's time, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be gone for one, two yeah. weeks with the kids, and, and then you won't get any responses for about three months, you'll get yeah. a good amount in March, maybe at the start of April, and then they'll vanish again. <laughs> well, and I tried to contact all these external people, mm -hmm. but they're, um, like, still more away until the end of January, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, if shit happens, it's on you now. <laughs> How dare you take all of this? Facts. <laughs> it's very sad. What are you sending me? Are you sending me a picture of your Chico roll? Should you be sent? Huh? What is that? That is not a Chico roll. That is death. <laughs> that is very bad. What did you roll. do? That is 
disgusting. <laughs> what happened? I don't know what this is regularly. I don't think I'd even like it regularly, but this literally... It, I don't even know how to explain it. It looks like... Testicles? It, yeah, well, I'm thinking of like a piece of meat that's been crumbed and then burnt and then washed outside. What even is a Chico roll? Yeah, what's a Chico roll? <laughs> This one I need to Google. I can't look at that any longer. That is disgusting. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Boat. No, I mean, the real thing isn't much better. Oh, God. Chico roll. I like how the first thing that came up was Chicory the game. <laughs> Only you. Only me. Okay, it's a roll. Ugh. Yeah, I told you. It's like a fried dimson. No. No, it's like I don't know how to explain it. I'm thinking of like spring rolls, but it's like fried. Like a giant fried spring roll. Yeah. With like some extra ingredients in it. Bro's making coal, guys. Come on, careful. <laughs> God damn it. It's lamb and veggies and pastry and deep fried. Yeah, or like a dim sim with open ends. Yeah, dim sim with open ends. Dim sims but with the butt open. But should be open. <laughs> it's only. If it was closed, you should get that checked. Thanks. Just send me now. Ow! You know what? When you break it open, it doesn't look too bad. It does just look like a pasty, doesn't it? Sorry? <laughs> well, I cracked it open. Is, yeah. is it still edible? I wouldn't touch that. I don't think I could. I would probably die if I ate that. Like emotionally. Oh, you mean a pasty? Do you mean no, a no. pasty? No, 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 no! It's a pasty. It's a. It's. He said lamb and veggies in pastry and deep fried. So it's pasty, but it's deep fried. And it's in a roll. Okay. Obviously. It's just you said pasty at first, and yeah. I'm very confused. Oh, now I'm thinking about. I need to get like a really good sausage roll. That's what you're thinking about? Yeah, I am. All right. Well, we had one up the street, but it wasn't like properly cooked. I want one that's properly cooked. Ooh. Where would I even go? I don't know, there's a place up near my place that I keep saying we should go to. They have to do with the I'm wondering which place you're referring to, but yeah, yeah, we could do that at some point. We can do that on the holidays. We can! Maybe. I keep like, like trying to think of like stuff we could do, and then there's the other part of my brain that's like, as soon as it, you know, as soon as it hits Christmas Day, we're basically not gonna have any time until the 31st. And I'm working the 31st. Yeah, I was thinking, I need to remember to pack, otherwise I'm going to the parents without anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about the fact that if we want to come home, like, with the parents, if, 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 if we decide to go home early before the parents, will we have to carry all of the stuff we end up buying yeah, on the, the train? Yeah, that's the problem. That's like, how much do we then pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's also that element of like, I know I'm gonna have my one good dress on me, and that's probably... But then, aside from that, it's like three days, so as long as the weather's not too crazy, which obviously, it's fucked down here anyway. It might be it might be winter on Christmas Day, it might be summer on Boxing Day, and then it might be spring on the 27th. <laughs> my colleagues are saying, oh hell, um, every day this week the weather has changed for Christmas Day. Like one oh, day it was really? Going to be like 30 degrees, and now it's like going to be 16, like 25. 16 and raining. I've seen it's 24 now, and, and like yeah. really knows what everything in the weather I've been looking at at the it's moment just, has been really it's nice. It's all over the place, like nobody can decide what weather it's going to be. That's okay. I, I already said I have a dress, and I bought it, we bought it for Christmas, so I have to wear it for Christmas. I'm going down with the ship. I need to wear stockings. I need to practice wearing stockings more. Practice in initiating the thought in my brain to be like, hey, remember, there are stockings that exist. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. question mark. What's going on? Oh, da? I'll just ask him. Hello. I literally started upstream, and the first thing he said was, hi, hi, da? Question mark. And I'm like, bro, my name's Han. You've been here for over six months now, and you're given, and you're, he's too excited to see you than me. Mm hmm Okay. I hope this is the highlight of your evening. Did you see the Lego Fortnite game? It looks nutty. I wouldn't eat it. It's simultaneously burned and undercooked. Oh, 
us. Oh god, now I have ads. Boat, no! It's okay, Boat, you're amazing. Get some Bates different food. He's probably finished his ads. Yeah, hopefully. Boat, just get yourself a packet, a $3 packet of hash browns, okay? I hear the Lego game is very good. It looks intriguing. I love Lego games. I need more Lego games. But I want like Lego games of like different games, like different TV shows or something. I don't know. I really want to replay all the other Lego games at some point. I love you. I love you. Sorry, I keep fluffing about. You too. Have a good night. Rest easy. I have spring rolls and I'm making an omelet, a du fromage with avocado. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's the du, du fromage? Is that just more cheese? My sister already chucks a lifetime of cheese in her omelette, so... I want to try having an omelette at some point. I haven't actually tried eating an omelette, and I, I want to try it. Maybe when I get a new pan. If and when I get a new pan, non-stick, do the whole foldy thing. My sister kind of just scrambles it. Alright, guys. God, you've been listening to this music for like 20 minutes, I'm so sorry. Fortnite trying to become the next Roblox, I hear. Create a bunch of games <laughs> within Fortnite so you never leave that. Fortnite. You know what? I respect that. I thought he'd be more of a challenge. Why does the the fox can talk? I have so many questions. What is happening in this game? The fox didn't talk before, and now he does. Gonna try my omelet. They are supreme. I would be intrigued if you ever make it to Melbourne. I'll make you a three course meal. You make me the breakfast, the the the, the morning after. Plans. So I'll do a whole like you'll get like a you know like like bread rolls before eating and then you'll have like a whole roast and then I'll have like I'll make like a chocolate self sourcing pudding and then the morning after you could do like a whole egg and bacon pancakes and omelets can be like a whole thing we'll eat it over the course of three hours <laughs> oh that sounds so good all right plans um anyway in relation to fortnite I, I mean it does kind of make sense right like it just just seems like a good marketing decision in relation to doing something like that again lego kind of disappoints me because i feel like lego has a lot of potential in a lot of different areas i really want a lego kingdom hearts game i will say this once i'll say it a thousand times i need a lego kingdom hearts game okay full on um, there's a lot more. Breakfast will be bank bacon omelets with chalk chip pancakes. Oh my god. And cream and freshly squeezed orange juice with a splash of vodka. I could cry. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Good plan. Did someone match Kingdom Hearts? <gasps> Hi, Philip. How are you? Let's go, boat. I'll cry with happiness. Chalk chip pancake sound. Poggers. I need to try making some. Hi, Han. Hi, Philip. Lego Fortnite is weird because the game originally was a zombie builder where shit happened in the dark, only to be a battle royale. But there is a Fortnite, Lego Fortnite, which is Fortnite, but a builder where shit happens at night would come full circle. Hmm. The original game was great, and then they got rid of it. It was probably just to save money or something. I'm delusional. Doesn't match for us anymore. Adar, is that you? <laughs> I have a story for Lego Worlds. What happened with Lego Worlds? So hungry. Same. The weak are meat for the strong to eat. Are you gonna eat all of that? Who are you, That's Luffy? The rule here. Don't eat him yet, though. When Fortnite was released, I was so excited to get the survival mode for free, but it never happened. Oh man. It's wrong to take more than your share, remember? The hunt belongs to all. That's also the rule. What is happening? <sighs> all right, all right. Dun, 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 dun. Red evil what is birds. It, Did anyone else notice the red glowing birds <sighs> that flew away off into the distance? No? Get it. 
It's nothing. It's nothing. Obviously nothing. Red evil birds. What even are those? Psh. Lego Worlds was already Lego Minecraft like. They didn't need Fortnite. Uh, yeah. But you have to admit it's like one of those things where it's like everybody's shiny shiny words, so to speak. Unfortunately, but it just ends up being that way. Kingdom Hearts Lego looks oh, it sounds amazing. It does, right? Like you could still do the whole like crossover of like different Disney worlds or worlds that they've done in the past and kind of like mesh them together from the different games. And of course you could, could like collect all the studs and, and you know have like different like whole levels like you know, they've basically already got a general idea of like what each level would look like because it already exists. You just gotta make it smaller or decide what parts you wanna add and make its own story out of it. Like, it would just be good. Fuck. I love that she Naruto runs. This is literally me on a good day. No. Nothing for me over there because I'm hungry. Feels something behind here. Oh fuck yeah! All right, no that way. Going this way. What else is going on in life? Wow. It's beautiful. Massive village. The storied hunter returns to the village. Storied? Hmm? Literally me. <laughs> Humans? Humans? Oh my god, oh whoa. Come on, Akala. Smell gross. No, I like sniff things out and Dara just looks Listen at me up, like what? Weaklings. Our forest is almost hunted out. What? So give us some of your forest too. We humans need it. Oh no, tribal fights. Ben -dun 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 -dun. This is pointless. They're animals. Can't hardly talk even. Yes, they can. Don't be a bitch. Maybe they'll understand this. Stab them. Oh wait, we speak hey, different languages. If Kohaze hears about this. It's the warden. The warden of the isle. There's a warden? Oh, you're a Juva. Be gone, O oh humans. Who is this guy? We have lived on this island in peace since time immemorial. Now, you who came after seek to rob us of it. We had an agreement. We divided the land and swore not to trespass against each other. Right. Quickly, and get rid of the humans more. before they multiply and take over. <laughs> How are humans supposed to live here without enough food and resources? Well then, fuck off then. Your greed betrays you as always. Yeah. So it's fighter for You've resources. The forest so your settlements could grow. And that means there's no food. Instead of plotting to steal the forest, better you should learn to coexist with it. Yeah. We don't need coexistence. We need land. Maybe we should take this whole village. Stab him. What? What the? Eat a person. Woo! I knew it. Humans from the next village. <sighs> and I still haven't had breakfast. Let's get him out of here. Yes, that's my approach too. Mufasa! Oh my god. Try pressing spate, wait. Through the day check can use beasts to provoke people into battle. Everyone friends. Chet, what now? 
Let's set up beasts. Your forest belongs to us now. Rawr. Go get him. I'll vanquish this beast. My fox <laughs> could take you blindfolded. Here we go. From Farouk. King Iguana. I want to know what a King Iguana does. So good. Oh my god. Can I just do that as many times as I like? That's the real question. Hey. Yeah, bitch. And then that should be it. Nope. Let's go. Do I hit you then? Definitely a Luffy. I don't have any water to my house. What? Why? What happened? Bird can't sail away without water. That's cute. So we can just stick our fox on random <laughs> citizens? Absolutely. I don't use the You're toilet the without water. Beastlings. What happened? Did something break or is the water switched off for Hi, a reason? Juba. Hi everyone. I'm back. She's so cute. So quick to resort to violence. Thanks, oh Chad. Our hero, family's pride. <laughs> Hunting was good today too. Looking tasty, looking good. Looking good, looking tasty. What's with the um difference? Hold on while I prepare it, okay? What's the difference between language? Because obviously Juva has a very distinguished way of talking, and Ochet does, but all the other beast be beastlings don't seem to have that level of, of language. So I'm wondering if she was raised differently to, to the others, maybe? Not sure. Prepare captured beasts and turn them into eggs. Here you go. Enjoy. I think a pipe may have burst down the road. Mm, good smell. Looking tasty. Looking good. That's not an option, Bert. I mean, it depends where you live. Could be an option. Ochet, meet me on the western hill. Just plank really hard against the fence or something. We can talk while we eat. Meat. Did I say plank? That was not the word I meant. You know, when you sit and you have your like your feet like this and you like clench your anyway. I don't wanna know the intricacies of your poop, okay? Wait, where'd you ever go? Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, do I have health? Might rest anyway. Let's go on the toilet seat and just let it flow around. Okay, no, shut up. Please, I don't want a gnome. Oh, I can trade jerky for m food. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the food for for food. Nice. Interesting how they've very much gone like for a, like a trading aspect within this game. Trading aspect. Hmm. Interesting. These things hatch them. Hatch.
All right, we'll, we'll keep going. There it is. Hello, how are you, my dear? Tasty stuff, huh? <laughs> Especially the leaner birds. Yes. Sorry, yummy. Meat hunted by an apprentice always has a special savor to it. And today's quarry was a king iguana, I gather. So why does the lion You are talk? a true hunter, Ojet. Your bow preserves the forest's balance. <laughs> I do my best. I'm getting pretty good at this, right? Not just hunting, but also talking. Okay, so he's been training them at talking. I didn't spend all those years copying your example for nothing. Okay, yeah. Chet has grown strong. So she's been specifically kind of raised under the tutelage. Could just do something about her appetite. <laughs> Ten years since the two of you met, is it? So what are you, 14, 15? You're pretty young then. She looked like she couldn't be more than four or five when. I still remember the one I didn't choose that day. The, f the owl? The I owl would be that over, upset. But never did find them. Put that out of your mind. What happened that day was fate. Uh. Anyway, I gave Akala enough love for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Good to hear. I have ruled as Warden of the Isle for many years now. How many? How old are you? But I will die one day. Just like the creature that gave us this meat. Good creature. When that day comes, Ojet, the island will become your burden to bear. God, that's a big responsibility. Why? Uh, I don't know, Master Juba. That sounds kind of heavy. I know the idea is that she has a quiver what? on her back, but it really does, does look like she has an arrow just shoved into her shoulder. I'd rather keep going out every day to hunt up some good eating. I see. Same. All I want to do is eat Tell meat every day. Have you noticed the change in the forest? No. Maybe. <sighs> it's like the whole forest is afraid. That's because there's fucking stupid humans on it. Warden! Warden! Oh look, the stupid humans. Speak of the devil. Well now, what business has the chief of the human village here? What are you sending me now, Bert? It better be cooked food. Forgive my people for what they did. Omelette is ready. I came to offer this by way of apology. Very nice. Vrom omelette du fromage. I did not think you had such humility in you. Nice. A bit of pepper. It makes me uneasy, if I am honest. State your true business, Kohaze. Sorry, I missed the topic statement. What? Of course. You are beasts, after all. This guy's a sir sus. I hate things. it. A young girl from our village wandered into the tombs of the Warden Beasts. Danger stalks those ruins. Humans who enter are never seen again. I'm just saying, so they literally, this morning, literally only probably an hour from when this is happening, can people come into our village and be like, bitch, we want your land, let's fight for it. And then ran away. <laughs> and then assumingly found out that there was a kid that was, that wandered into the ruins. And now they come back to Tattletale. I mean, that's what they're trying to coerce getting Ochet to escape so that Juva is going to be by himself. Maybe? That sounds right, right? Like, they're they're actually trying to lure Ochet away to save this person, find out there's no one there except for a monster. And then when she comes back, they find out she they lured her away just to kill Juva or attack the town in some capacity. But... This is not the case for you Maybe. who were here on this island before. 
Will you enter the ruins and find our lost girl? Does she even exist? If you bring her back, I am sure we can reconsider the question of our land. Why? You guys are the ones that want more land. This is very sus. Do you take me for a fool? Those ruins are crawling with monsters. Our kind has no guarantee of return from them either. You ask us to risk our lives for a human. What's the difference between that a beastling? That girl had her fate, as do we all. Accept it. I mean, that's pretty cool. return to your home. Please say it's not poisoned. Oh, show and stream so all can behold. I am so sorry. Oh, Chet. What are you saying? Well, do it. Remember what you taught me, Master Juva? Fuck. Wrong thing. When it matters do. most. Wait, that's the double. How heart. do I bring up the snap Not again? Eyes or nose. Fuck. No. But Can't I, like, bring up the... You know how dangerous the ruins are. How do I... Isn't there a thing where and if you hold it, it'll let child. you see it again? In time, I'm sorry, Bert. Pay your kindness with Stop sending humans into the place where they can't, aren't seen again. Easy. Mm. Human, beast, that's not important now. I think this is one of those times that matter most. Get on you, Bert, And my heart tells me to save that girl. Post in Discord. Mm, do it. Very well. Go. I am in your debt, Beastling. Still sus. Still My sus. Name is Ochet. Now, Naruto, run away. Meet here. <laughs> if you cared half as much about your own life as you do about meat. <sighs> Literally, Luffy. I respect Come on, this. Akala. Let's go, Akala. <laughs> All right. Is this a trap or not? I'm not sure, but better. Where am I going? Up here? Guys, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be back. <laughs> Enjoy vibing. I will return shortly.
Did I not mute in the end? Wait, did you guys hear me talk about eggs? <laughs> I thought I pressed my mute button. <laughs> As I walked away, the first thing I said was, all I'm thinking about is eggs now. <laughs> The new Zelda game, Ark of the Twilight. I swear to god I will fight you guys. Shut the fuck up. Well... Hi, Ashley. She's saying hi before going to sleep. Go get that sleep, Ashley. What you doing? Go sleep with your lovely. I didn't, but that's because I came here a second before you returned. That's fair. Good timing, then. <gasps> Jet is cute. Do 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 do. Oh, he's hearing voices. Bathrooms are scary. Here, take this. Have a sword. You're hearing noises, but I'm home alone. I hate that. That is the worst feeling ever. Like, you're literally not even interacting with anything. <laughs> and it's just, just voices. It's like, please stop. But yeah, I'm just talking about eggs. Who's your starter traveler? Mine was Temenos. I did Oswald. I just like the idea of like, like, so when I looked at the map, right? My kind of logic when I like started the game was like, if I start here, well, one, I didn't know if the storyline for Oswald probably changed a lot if I did it later. So I, I mean, so I thought that it would have been you know, kind of cool to do the whole, like, prison break kind of system as my, like, starting part, which was definitely cool. No regrets. Um, but also my thinking was, was obviously I would start here, and then I went to here, and then go to here. Actually, no, I think I- yeah, no, I went and got thrown over first, then here. And then, you know, like, kind of, like, make my way up and around, kind of in a circular pattern-ish. So. It's okay, I think it's just the demons that haunt me. Nothing to be concerned about, it's just the horse. Oswald, Temenos, Throne, and Hikari. Those are the four common starters. Okay. I mean, I get it, because like I, when I started the game, I was like, walking around with just Oswald, I was like, man, I wish I had a healer. <laughs> so starting as a like cleric definitely makes a lot of sense. So far though, I don't, Temenos' story, like in terms of murder mystery is interesting, but he is kind of a prick. <laughs> in like the nicest way possible. I'm interested to see Hikari. So the problem with Hikari is that I didn't realize that he existed, which is a bit rude. Um, I didn't realize, I apparently, when I went around like at the start of the game and I read through each of the different things, apparently I didn't see his bio. <laughs> so I actually have no idea what Hikari, Hikari is about. Or maybe that or I don't remember, I'm not sure. Sassy Twink, that's what the fandom call Temenos. Mm, that's an apt description. It's a good time. Still can't go this way? Nope, nope. Yeah. Hunt or be hunted. Here we go. Huh, time to finish this. Time to level up. Yeah. Um, be so far, like, so I'm trying to do all of, obviously, all of the first chapter of every character. Go. I was wondering, um, obviously without giving too many spoilers, how many chapters? Uh, is there, like, three chapters for each person? Is there five? Are there twenty? Like, I'm wondering, because in my brain, like, most of the storylines are obviously setting up a very simple answer, like, question to be answered. So I'm wondering, is there, like, how many chapters are there? Do you do three? Do you, is it a really long game because there's three chapters for every person, but it's just, you know, every chapter, like, because you have eight different people and each chapter alone takes, like, two hours, like, it kind of shuffles around a lot. Nemenos X Crick is also the most commonly seen gay ship in this game. Respect. Yes. It's what I need in my life. But yeah. Is there like one chapter, two chapters? Or five chapters. Okay. With exceptions like Petitio has four, Throne has six, 
That's including split parts as separate chapters. Okay, okay, okay. No idea what that means, but that's okay. It's more intriguing that way. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So, I imagine it's like, if you think you spend one, two hours per chapter, but then there's eight people, that's already 16 hours. And then times that by five. Wait, am I mathing correctly? Something like that. And then times that by five. It's like a good, like, 60, 70, 70 hour journey. Throne has the most, as she should. I mean, so far, I'm convinced that Throne should be the only important character, obviously. Right. So cool. God, I love her. 1,896. You had a perfect chance to ride in 69, and you resisted it. I'm proud of you. Alright, I still have a long ways to go. I am talking a lot, but if I actually focused long enough on the storyline, this wouldn't be as much of an issue. Is Jellyfish. They're so cute. Here we go! Um, yeah, arrow, don't get near them. Huh, sorry. I don't think I'd want to touch a jellyfish even with like a sword, you know? Like, I don't know how well that electricity goes. <laughs> how far I should turn. Please stop, right. you were doing so much damage. Maybe I heal. Do I have healing? Or we just go full ham. Please don't hurt my girl. Let's go. And go. I might die. Oh yeah, I'm definitely dead. <laughs> All right, jellyfish are evil. Got it. We don't like jellyfish, guys. I'm kidding. I love jellyfish. I don't know why. I just think they're heckin' cool, you know. Don't go near one. Don't, you know, don't get me wrong. But the concept of them. Just be a gelatinous piece of jelly. Just going through space, electrocuting whatever you touch. You know, having a good life. Let's try this again. No, shit. Okay, different enemy. We're fine. But they're squishy. Yeah, exactly, evil jellyfish. <laughs> the Hal needs some work. Patishu has scent of commerce chapters, mostly optional. One required to finish the story, and one of Throne's chapters is pure story, no combat, no dungeon. Oh, okay. So it's a, it's a lot more into... Okay, 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 okay. That explains why they did five, well, six for her then. If there's one that's just like, hey, you do no fighting, full stop. They're so huggable, right? Philip, no. Philip, stop. Why does everything do so much damage? Time to finish this. Time to end this little game. My I just need to do enough. Poison. We love them. Can I like capture? Oh yeah. Mine now. I'm now gonna die. Grab some food. Damn it. 
would be prey. I'm gonna die. Uh oh. I mean, he has the first attack. Really? Really? Oh, come on. All I wanted to do was get back to the save. This sucks. Alright, we need to take a different approach. <laughs> Which basically means I need to not take it. I'm just gonna walk around here for a little bit. Why does everything do so much damage to my girl? I must be missing something. The hunt is on. Okay, well what does precision shot do? Here we go. Huh? There. Okay, it just does two hits. Let's go. You also have an axe. I just realized. Interesting. My prey awaits. Yeah. And now. <laughs> Again, deadly sun. Too much info. I just I said without too many spoilers. I just wanted to know the chapter length. That was it. Okay. Just that's all. I love the passion. Not gonna read much more. All I need to know is that, you know, there's about five chapters each. It's gonna take me a while. It's definitely one of those things where I'm like, I did not expect it to take me so long just to do all of everyone's, like, base missions Hunt in the game. That's okay, I do need to spend a lot of time, like, grinding we as well, go. so... Effort. If I do this, and then it breaks it, and then I can use magic to do precision shot, which is also two hits. Okay. Okay. I'm it out. So you can just keep doing that over and over again, provided you have mana. Cool. So much damage from my tiny girl. She need more health. I mean, she is only a tiny girl, so. Nice. Now let's grab some food. Level four. Good to know, Philip is uh, attracted to uh, wolves. Got it. The hunt is on. You know what? Philip, I'm just saying, if I found out that your wife was secretly like a sexy werewolf, kind of like, uh, like uh, from like Twilight or something, I'd believe it in a second. Just saying. <laughs> your wife is this. stunning. Am I allowed to compliment someone else's wife? Is that okay? I can do that. That's allowed, right? It's fine. Don't mind it. She is. Mm. Yes. We are Philip and Philip's wife. Um, uh, uh, just constantly. Uh, appreciate. 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 We, we appreciate. Of course you can. Okay, cool. I don't know what the parameters are around that sort of thing. At what point is complimenting someone else's wife is weird? Welcome to my 30 page essay. <laughs> About ever all the situations where it is okay and or not okay. <laughs> If you give compliments, then you gotta take compliments. Hunt Don't you dare, Vera. Don't compliment me. I really almost cried once today. Y'all saying nice things to me. How dare. Let's go. Huh? 
We're just hanging out. We're just having a good time. No more than that. No, I was standing. That is cute. No, stop. Stop. Should be like, I know, right? I love her. Stunning. Stunning amount of self confidence. I love it. Don't compliment. Hi, Stanium. Right, right back at you, girl. Miss? Okay. Right. The best streamer. That's not true. There's plenty of other streamers out there. So many other streamers. They're way cooler. Not really a direct compliment, but I like being here. That's good house. I hope so. I want people to like being here. I want to sit back and just chillax and, you know, just, just kind of just vibe. We like to vibe here. So we're here to do vibe, play video games question the existence of life. Go about our day. It's a good time. Ready to be prey? Any day. Let's go. <laughs> I also like being here. I look forward to the little moments Pray when away. I can join in. I do too, bro. I love seeing you can come in a chat and be like, ooh, a whoa. I'll be like, oh, yo, buddy, how's it going? Burn the, pa burn the patriarchy too, hand, don't forget. Mmm, you're here. right. Let's burn go. the patriarchy. I get to have a takeout meal for the first time in three months. Here I'm gonna go. take full advantage of it. What's your plans, man? Are you gonna go for that? Cheese chili fries? Cheese chili fries? Or are you going for a different option? Like uh, Popeyes or something. I really wanna know what Popeyes is like in America. Going to Sonic. Every time I hear the fact that there's a store called Sonic, it blows my mind. Cause all I think about is obviously Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, how do you open a store called Sonic and not have, you know, like, Sonic as, like, the symbol of it? Insane. But I'm a part of the patriarchy. Then I was gonna- <laughs> my brain was like, if the wording had been, like, destroy the patriarchy, it'd be like, well, we're gonna destroy you too. Wink wonk. <laughs> Don't worry. No, Bert, it's okay. They got a garlic butter bacon burger with cheesy tater tots and an Oreo cheesecake milkshake. Oh god. Okay. 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 I'm fine. I'm I wow. That sounds like pretty good. <laughs> I'm keep thinking about bread. Fart technology. Fart is Polish for luck. Usually dumb luck. You have luck technology? Does that mean you guys can like roll constant nat 20s? 15. Questions. Cheesecake milkshake makes me. Mm, that's fair. It's just a nice. company name, but people on the internet laughed at the fart technology when they're unaware it's Polish. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's really good marketing, though. 
Even if it makes sense in Polish, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a really good, like, playoff words that you can do a lot with if you want. Sometimes clever marketing is just in the name. Just think about, so, like, there's an Australian, I think it's Australian, um, toilet paper brand, the toilet paper brand who gives a crap. Like, literally, who gives a crap? And then they, like, make toilet paper. And then they make jokes about, like, who gives a crap? We give a crap. <laughs> Have the nicest toilet paper ever in existence. And it's good for the economy. Uh, well, good for things. It's just good. It just makes itself. Here we go. Okay. So I can use this, and then use this, and then... Nice. I mean, I can only hit one at a time, but that's okay. Stops them from attacking at the same time. Who gives a crap? We take it. <laughs> it's good marketing. It just works. It just works. Damn. Obliterated. <gasps> Guys, I have chips. I'm so like like just potato thins chips. I'm really excited to eat them. Sorry, what are you Americans call them? Crisps. Are they crisps? I don't know. They hurt me inside. Chippies. Chips. Mm-hmm. Chips. No, your chips are chips. Crisps are fuck, I don't remember. Hi Americans. Please d don't vote now for Trump. Food. Otherwise, I'll cry. It's a crisp. I can't remember. There's a difference. So there's like chips. There's like three different forms of chips. Where in our brain, we call them chips. So there's fries chips. There's steak chips, I think. And then there's crisps, which I'm pretty sure I like potato. Like potato, like oil hard ones whatever don't worry i'm not last thing i'd do oh yeah i know so adara and i oh guys okay so adara and i are planning a drinking game we should do it together i'm kind of half the tempted to stream when the election's happening to be honest so the plan for adara and i is that we're gonna play a drinking game <laughs> and for every um red state that get that every state that votes red will take a shot <laughs> That's the plan. Fun fact, legal stuff going in multiple states at the moment. A couple have declared him ineligible to run again. Yes, indeed. That's why, I, that's why I'm mentioning it. So he's been taken off the ballot paper in Colorado. I don't know about anywhere else this place, but it's interesting because Colorado obviously is kind of like opening the gates to hopefully have a lot of other states also be like, no, because he committed crimes. That's what happens when you incite an insurrection, guys. You gotta, you gotta, the crimes, they're not good. When he started quoting fucking Hitler, I was mortified. I felt gross. I was like, how is this happening in this day and era? It's been not even a hundred years, you know? Like, it's just, ugh. Starting to quote Hitler, like, ugh. gross. Fires, fires, like that, like what they just serve at McDonald's, chips, like Lay's, oh Lay's, that's the word, we don't use the term crisps, who uses the term crisps, chips or Lay's, okay, oh that's why you said fires, which is fries, okay, explains why I was confused, all right, I'm not gonna lie, that idea scares me because of trolls and fanatics over Trump possibly coming into the stream, you never know, Hasn't happened yet. It's not like I'm publicly, I mean, it's only really on stream that I'll be like, hey guys, it's not like, aside from that, that I'm really like putting anything like anti-Trump out there, so. And in my brain, it's like, logically it's the minority, so like, oops, wrong one. So. And then if it happens, it happens. I cry. I'll cry excessively, I'll be gone for over the holidays, and then I'll come back and I'll be like, hi guys, I missed you. I cried a lot while you were, while you were away. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. 
We, um, it's just scary. It's getting real scary. And I'm not even in America, you know? And I'm just scared for everyone I know in America. So I feel like the majority I know of people I know in America obviously are one against it, but two like L like LGBT and stuff like that. You know. Ready to be prey? We don't even worry about that. Well, I mean, we don't need to worry about it yet. No one in my generation likes the people running for candidacy. Well, there's that problem too. Old man or old man? <sighs> it's a difficult decision. Old man who looks like he's decaying. Old man that committed insurrection. <sighs> hard decisions, hard decisions. Straight in the head of me again. And go. But yeah, no, I get it. Your none of your options are particularly good at this point, and it's kind of bullshit that that's now the case. Grab some food. You'd really hope that there's surely someone better, or change your voting system, or change things around so it's not as insane, but. Gotta poop. No. Wish me luck. Good luck, Bert. <laughs> Good luck. Should at least have one or two flushes in your toilet left over. I, I, I don't know. Domino's doesn't open till 10.30. Can't get a cookie brownie. Aw, buddy, it's okay. You'll get there. Domino's. I mean, wait, so how, how much longer do you have to wait? You know, I think I went past we Domino's go. the other day and I was like, you know, like surprised to find out that it, like I was walking past ar around like, I think probably like 10 and uh, 9.30 in the morning and I saw that it didn't open till like midday and I was like, huh, it's kind of surprising. But on the other yeah. hand, it kind of makes sense because I think they're open from like 12 to 2 a.m. or something, My maybe even later. Huh? <laughs> Six hours and 13 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna make Let's it, lad. Go. Are you at least gonna sleep? Have you slept? Are you sleeping? <laughs> I recommend sleeping. I'm going in. Also, I don't know why CNN is giving Rams Swami so much coverage. Dude is a nutball. Also, that is exactly what they did to Trump, and look what happened after him. I'm trying to remember which guy he is. He was the guy, he said something. He said something recently, I'm trying to remember what it was. But yeah, I know, I, I think I know who you're talking about. I, don't quite, I have an image in my head, I don't quite, I'm not 100% sure if it's right, but yeah, they have been giving him a lot more precedent suddenly come out of nowhere and people are giving him attention. It's like, please no. Time to, finish this. Time to end this little game. My prey and go. Damn it, you're making me hungry. I'm hungry too. Wink. Here we go. Said there was merit to the great replacement theory. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that was the thing I was thinking of. Though I also think I heard something about Elon saying that too recently. I don't fucking know. Rich people scare me. Work does take me back. Then I have to reset my sleep schedule so I don't I don't go to bed at 5 a.m. and wake up at 1 p.m. So trying to reset. Okay, so are you going to stay up until later in the afternoon. Is that what you were saying? You're going to attempt to stay awake until 
it's like your evening and then try and go to bed until next time yeah okay you can always take naps just itty bitty naps you know now let's grab some food level up oh god i don't know if i'm gonna make it <laughs> People are scary, but hey, at least we have each other. <laughs> it's true. The hunt is on. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, 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 bum. This guy hits just as badly, but here we are. Huh? Wait, so can I just like try and capture straight off the bat? 15% chance. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so now if I look at it, it's 37. Okay, so it's actually kind of a good measure to see how soon. You're okay. Maybe. Oop. Excellent. I'm hungry. Made it. All right. Okay. Now save, and then run. Truth. I'm not scary. That's because you're too cute, man. You're so cute, it's scary. <laughs> That's what people say. We can't change the world, but at least we can all enjoy a nice cold can of Pepsi TM. <laughs> yes, exactly. Definitely the policy. Pepsi, because the world is scary. Mm, that's the new campaign slogan. Here we go. You misspelled Dr. Pepper. Mm, no. Now let's grab the no. food. No. Bad. No way, man. How, many, how much meat do I have now, anyway? Oh, it doesn't show me my meat. <gasps> no. Also, look at this water. Pretty. Jerky. Fuck yeah. Saying jerky without saying meat first sounds very weird, I will say. Ooh. Voices? Can't be far away now. Oh, okay, just no. It's interesting how the light in the other things was like a lot more yellow, like lantern, while this one looks a lot more like light yellow versus like the orangey yellow. The hunt is on. More enemies. Let's go. Time to finish this. <laughs> Still feel like I need to keep leveling up. Here we go. And go. Can I capture an can I capture something? Yeah. Mine now. And it'll only be one. Okay. Okay. Over here. Uh. Ouch. Let's Yo. Go. Huh? <laughs> nice. Can't even have Pepsi at the moment. No money for the sugar fizzy water. That's okay, man. Water is so good. Just drink water. Just drink water. Whew, I'm hungry. <sighs> it's 
It's okay. It's not like it's it's not like it's a refreshing <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> just um, just get some like orange juice instead. Orange juice is more expensive. What am I saying? It's kind of crazy that we live in the world where orange juice is more expensive than. It's like way more expensive for orange juice than it is for like Pepsi. Ready to be prey. Mm -hmm. It's like a right. mini juva. Yeah. yeah, okay. I need the axe. Uh. I might die here. Uh. Oof. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> nope, not even the axe. What? Here we go. Alright. Lightning. Please. Thunderbirdie! Thunderbirdie! That was such a cool attack. Thunderbirdie! Now. Nice. And then we're gonna do it again for maximum damage. There you are. Nice. Okay. Now let's grab some food. Anna, I can only drink orange juice if it's extra pulpy and icky. Ugh, no. Why? Why? Because otherwise that has too much sugar in it or something? Or it's kind of insane to me, but it kind of makes sense. The only orange juice I like is the complete opposite of that, though, so... This game's so pretty. This really does make me excited to, uh... Hunt or be hunted. This makes me excited to play Sea of Stars. Could incentivize that. Yeah, I didn't level up. Cannot take any more beasts. Prepare one of the beasts you've captured to make room. Sure. Uh, I didn't realize I had to here we go. do it manually. Manually. I just never liked orange juice. Then someone suggested getting pulp instead of, instead of regular and tasted better to me. What? That's insane. I mean, I'm I'm impressed. I mean, hey, live life the way you like it. What do I have here? Leaving blow. Cause a single foe to act at the end of the turn for two turns. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this one. Alright, um, and then I have meat. How do I fix that? Frog membrane? Why do I have a frog membrane? I have so many questions. Okay. Equipment? I'm looking for my meat. Ooh, octopus. Status? 
No, she's so cute. She's just happy with them me. Day provoke. Nice for friends. Okay, but how do I make more meat? It definitely feels like there's a lot to this game that I'm still like completely oblivious to. I mean, I only I really only drink pineapple juice anyway. Mmm, pineapple juice. It's good. It's good. All right, I don't know how to make any. Oh, here we go. You cannot prepare your companion. Thank God, I was gonna ask. Alright. Alright, what's this one? Jerky? Beast liver? Salad! Ooh, let's get a salad. Bridge! Whoop. Kid. Okay, the kid wasn't a bait. <laughs> Little housing garden area thing and the cheapest small plot was three mil. God damn. Hecky, hecky. Hey, there you are. No need to cry anymore. I'm here to rescue you. How did she get so far without dying is the real question. A beastling? What are you doing here? That voice is Fumano. I wouldn't worry about the details. But everyone says not to make friends with beastlings. That's, um... I do, huh? We're actually pretty nice, though. L Lucy? Is it Lucy I'm thinking of from Fairy Tale? God damn it! I know which voice that is. She always speaks in like, no, no, high pitched voices. Wow, well, bitch! This is a problem. Just drag her along. I'd rather stay in the creepy tomb. Give her meat. At night, I check and befriend townspeople, and they will follow wherever she goes. Yeah, use specific items like jerky to prevent uh, to, to to befriend someone. Bribery, bribery always works, guys. Here, have some jerky. Meat, 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 huh? meat. Oh, thank you. I was so hungry. Mmm, this is yummy. Right? A hunk of jerky makes everything better. They're so cute. If we can agree on that much, we're practically friends already. <laughs> you think? Absolutely. Maybe maybe not Lucy, maybe it's someone else. Huh? Like happy. What can that be? It doesn't feel friendly. What is it? Keep running. Better go. It's almost dark. Follow me, okay? You mean it's already dark, right? <laughs> teleport? Alright, we're teleporting. <sighs> Can I save again? What is it? I'm scared. The night is here. The aisle birds are calling. Something's got them agitated. So Miss Juva has been murdered by the tribe's people. Maybe. Again, the Flee this evil place. birds. Get far away. Calamity is coming. What? Beast Ganon, cal Calamity Ganon? The birds are saying? Isle birds are easily spooked. They're more sensitive to danger than anyone else. 
forest is calling. Calamity? What do they mean? It's canon, guys. Let's go. What exactly is coming? It's just a little kid, so it probably wouldn't, but I think but I would think it. I don't Sleep like this. Kid. Let's just hurry back to the village. Mm, good idea. Alright. I'm sure I'll be fine, guys, right? Can I go back in? I can. Just wanna save. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're good. Hopefully nothing attacks us. It shouldn't, but still. It's okay, kid. Oh, never mind. It's not okay. Whoa! What is that monster? I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, definitely looks weird. Is that what the Isle Birds were anxious about? This monster? Sorry. But I'm gonna need you to move. Right. Mm. Now. Let's go. Ta. I. This is interesting because right. I definitely it's it's it is kind of interesting yeah. how it's almost like every single story seems to relate in now some capacity some to um. To like kind of like an outbreak of monsters, of illness, of um, you know, like it, it definitely seems to be alluding to maybe something connecting all of the story points. Maybe not. What uh -oh. the? Oh, chat! What happened here? Village, our village destroyed. Monster came, smashing village. Hmm. Oh no, where's Master Juva? Listen, he's basically Aslan. He was doomed Still to die. Fighting. I say that he rose Chet. again in three days. What's wrong? You stay here with the others, okay? Okay. It's okay, little girl. Let's go, Akala. And she knew Ruruda runs off into the distance. Did you need something? Yeah, a little bit. Am I gonna be a high enough level for this? I don't know about this. Ah, we'll go see. We'll see how it goes. So I wonder if in Pandora's box. Master Juva! What? And what is that? Dun, 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 dun. What is that monster? The evil. I just realized I was supposed to end stream. Be God gone, damn. Calamity. Leave this place. It's like a weird goat with a giant butt. Dark Souls would be proud. So, the change in the island was your doing. I have not seen its like before. Where did it come from? Where'd it go? Could it be a harbinger of coming night? Surely not. So we have a harbinger of the coming of the night, and then we have a Temenos thing. Again, this feels like it's kind of connected to Temenos' stuff, where it says the whole sure night is sure to fall. The years have dulled my edge, I see. I know he says that while he's like basically oh, collapsing. Jack, flee! It's too strong. No. Look at Aslan, help him. We're trying. No. No running. 
Yeah, Luffy, let's go. Oh, chat. What kind of hunter runs away from her quarry? And whatever this is, it hurt the villagers. Come on, you want to fight? Here I am. She's cute. Oh. Come on then. Help him. Yeah. Ooh, spoopy. Let's go. Oh god. Okay. Let's let's see if what's weak. He's weak too. Um. Oh god. He still does so much damage. Right. That's right. I do have like different attacky boys. I don't remember that I have different attacky boys. Okay. That's probably where I'm like struggling is that I'm not actually using the attacky boys the way I'm supposed to. Like Pokemon. <laughs> Pardon. Right. Alright. Does it use magic for these or not? Sorry. So he'll always do at least one attack. Did you just have a massive- Can I just keep using this over and over again? So they all have different functions, effectively. Can I boost? I can. Okay, so it does more damage, but still only hits once. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, good. Let's go. Good dodge. Let's well done, Ocha. Time to end this right. little game. Uh -huh. Precision shots, which means I can hit more than one at a time. So if I do like this. Please don't do that. Stop attacking me, bro. Doing shit. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Okay, they should be close to dead. Shut. Just pressing auto attack is a losing strategy in these lineup RPGs. Right. No, but I like the way you like doing them. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, let's heal. You know what, actually, no, I reckon I survive one more attack. All right, well, let's do... Oh, I just attacked the wrong dude. All right, that's fine. This is bad. Spy grab more healing yeah, items. What did I just watch? Oh, he upped his magic. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghetti! -o. Please stop. Let's go. I'm not gonna be able to hit him out of it, which is unfortunate. But oh god. That's because I hadn't done more damage beforehand. Here we go. I should unlock like a latent of power at some point too. Like every character is supposed to have a latent power. 
Please don't consume me. No, don't do that. Don't do that again, please. Let's go. Kill. <laughs> okay. Go with this jerky. Oh wait, how much does the jerky heal? I want to know how much of the jerky heals. It's fine. That's the stuff. We're not gonna worry about it now. Right. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just slap him a little bit. See how much Laura does. Yeah. All right. Not too bad. Uh. Okay. Good sign. Uh. Halfway. That thing's tougher than I thought. Don't worry, girl. You got this. That's not what I want to hear. Me too. Why do I feel like our chat has like the most Here difficult storyline? Her and like uh, Oswald both very diff difficult fights. While the other ones so far haven't been too bad, really. Maybe that's just because like I'm developing more of an understanding of how to fight, though, as well. It's just a skill issue, guys. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna leave him at one until he starts charging an attack. Oh, the other guy's gone. There we go. That's what we want. Right. <laughs> yeah. Ha -ha. Right. Let's go. And then I guess I'll hit him. Yeah, it's, it's weird trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. Kala, Loris. Like a Kala just has the best hitting strength. I don't know. You know, it's just. A all right, 262. All right, that's probably how much I want to be doing. Okay. Okay. Gain access to special skills. You can use these skills without consuming SP. Okay. Right. Um, I'm gonna heal first. Should I? Animal instincts. How? Y'all tell me what each of these attacks do? No? Or I should just heal. You know what? Now nah, it'll be fine. Claws. Maybe it's the different... So one's like a magic attack. This one's... Piercing. One's slashing. I'm actually going to tank a hit. Yeah, I think I'm going to tank a hit. Yeah, okay. Cool. Now he's at least in range. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that was going to lead in. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That works. And then I hit you without doing physical Thunderbird. Thunderbirdie. Sorry. Okay, so he's weak to that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're back. Welcome back. Let's Again, I don't want to do damage to him unless he's about to charge an attack. Right. We'll go to bed soon. It's all animes. <gasps> Predicting our friend coming in to clutch the save. No, our friend is the bad guy. As far as I understand. 
Our guy is the, the big bad. Is the big guy gonna attack me? They'll say he's close, actually. Maybe I'm better off just going ham. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this in a second. It'll be fine, she says. Stop doing that. My prey awaits. Okay. And then we can. I think I'll do a collar instead, and then I'll do latent power. Oh, I should have charged it. I forgot to charge it. Shit. Yeah. So he has to consume someone to then start charging energy. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I wasn't quite sure. Right. Okay. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> That's the stuff. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. She's so cute. Did I do claws or fangs last time? You know I don't know. She's so cool. What's the time? 11.51. Where is that? Provided I don't get distracted anymore. There we go. Nice. GG. Oh, this guy is still alive. Don't worry, we got him. Stand back, fell beast. Bing. Bing. Nice. Obliterated. I'm hungry. GG. Well done. Yay. Juva, no. I find it interesting how most of these storylines have still done a very stereotypical oh, your no longer person Christ. died and now you have to kind of continue on without them. Cannot be allowed to Hmm? Did I miss something? Did he say you- did What's he give it? a noun in there? That creature was only the beginning. What is going on? Just witnessed a miracle. A greater calamity approaches our island, even as we speak. The night of the Scarlet Moon. Sounds like a great time. The Scarlet Moon? Once every 400 years, there comes a night when the moon turns scarlet. Nice. This you are a miracle. Brings disaster and destruction. Too good to be true, but no touching, please. Oh my god. So the legends say. Master Juba. Not gonna die on us? Follow me, Ochet. I must show you something. Oh no. There is a prophecy long foretold. Kohaze. Well done, Warden. I should have known you could best that creature. Why do you talk in such a sus way? And you, the Warden's chosen hunter. Hmm. Did you come all this way to offer mere flattery? I like how Juva is really like, I give no shots. Thanks. Don't give me the shit, you mate. saved our village and brought home our lost child. I am in your debt, O oh Warden. Consider our quarrel over territory settled. Wait, really? For now. For now, you're a piece of shit. Come. Uh, 
Pastor Juba. I say we kill him. Right now. Do you guys ever get tired of talking about territory? Yeah, I'm wondering that too, bud. It is their <laughs> greed talking in the chat. There is no point in engaging them. I wish we thought this way, to be honest. Kinda seems like now might be a good time to cooperate, though. Come, Ochet. Dun 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 dun. dun. Right. Sus AF. I thought they were attacking. They already kind of tried to attack. There's definitely that idea of like the disparity between the different people. Oh my god, Groudon, Rayquaza, and Horror. -er. Let's go. Ice, what is this? water, and fire. Long ago, there were three creatures of legend. Hey, wait, we heard this. Terra. Cataracta. Wait, what was the fucking other name? Galadrius or something? You bitch. Sorry, I had the thing. Three creatures watched over the island for many years before departing to become guardians of other lands. Should their might be needed again, they must be called back to the island before the calamity of the Night of the Scarlet Moon. Am I on a time limit? The Night of the Scarlet Moon? It is an old, old legend. But it appears to be on the verge of coming true. You once told me that the island would be too heavy a burden to bear. And yet, it cannot be borne by any other than you. I'm just a tiny, like, 15, 14 year old girl. Why do you think I'm capable? Me, 24 7. You must go, Ochet. Alright, if you tell me, bitch. The island must be prepared to face this peril by gathering. Red moon, treacle pie, berry, the three God damn it, bro. Creatures of legend. What? But Master You Juba, are capable, huh? No, I'm not. Don't put any island? sort of responsibility on me, please. I just want to play video games. We will manage somehow. I'm horrible res with responsibility. Ochet, you are special. Why? Why? The moment I saw you as a newborn babe, I heard the voice of my heart. Okay. One day, this child will save the island from destruction. How did you know? You maybe he is I trusted Aslan. that voice. And raised you to be a hunter. This also kind of sounds a bit like Matt Mercer. Everyone's Matt Mercer, guys. All right, Master Juva. I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. No responsibilities with me, huh? huh? Thanks, Phil. Spoken like a true <sighs> apprentice of mine. My messer was everyone and everything. Nice. I'm peacing out for now. See ya, house. Don't worry. I'm going to bed. In your hands. Soon, anyway. Oh, Good night, house. See ya. I grow weary. I must rest. Now. After all this time, you're gonna die from natural causes. Master Juva? She's fucking dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Master Juba! He's dead. Don't worry about it. Moving on. Natural courses, you understand. Uh, uh, oh, he's sleeping. Okay, he's fine. Don't do I that he was to dead. Me. Oh gosh. He'll die eventually. Sleep well, Master Juva. Cute doggo. I mean a uh, wolf. I mean lion. God damn it. This is a very big responsibility for one tiny girl. I guess my only clue is that freeze. Freeze? Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll search at my own pace. She's so cute. I'm starting to look forward to this. New adventures await. It's gonna be my greatest hunt yet! Hell yeah. You have memorized your quarry then? And remember, no eating the creatures of legend. What? No. 
Luffy ate an entire dragon. I know that. You could just cut off a wing, maybe. Make some dragon wings. Oh, Chet, take care. Be well. Come back. Warden safe. Trust us. Keeping safe. Healing wound. No, where's the entire scream with no explanation? That's what you say to yourself, right, Han? What did I say? Take it. What did I say about Eat myself? Jerky. About eating Jerky. food? Thank you, everybody. Can't wait for Christmas. I bought my cousin a PS5 because he got good grades at school and Don't he doesn't worry. know about it yet. <gasps> no. Dude. Too much responsibility for one tiny girl. See you soon. Yeah. Even though I'm like 23, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> the judge leaves the island with her faithful companion. The calamity known as the Night of the Scarlet Moon strikes every 400 years. Literally just a Zelda. And they must defend their island by bringing back three creatures of legend. The sea is wide, but the world beyond wider. There's more to see, hear, and learn than a chet ever imagined. I thought that was gonna have more on. So I'm back. Was it a trap? No, it wasn't. It wasn't even a trap. It was like evil forces came out instead. So you went in, you saved the kid, and then there's like a whole like <gasps> I sense a dark like energy over the forest, and then you find out you're getting attacked by like night creatures, and then there's the whole like prophecy of the night of the scarlet moon. You need to rise them. You need to get all the stuff. I don't know. It was weird. So is she level nine now? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anyway, I need to go to bed. So we're at 23. I just turned 30. Oh god. I don't know. I think age is always so scary, but it's age. It's more than age is scary because, um. I feel like age is scary more because. I feel like age is more scary because it's so easy to look at what other people are doing and be like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? You know, I did uni for three years, and then I became a barista. And now I do that and play video games. I'm living the life, personally. Then you look at, like, other people who are already, like, Adara. <laughs> where it's like, she's earning, like, so much money, she's so cool, she's going up in the world, slowly but surely. Um, and it just seems, you know, even though everything's not as comparable. I was honestly depressed AF on my 30th. I feel so old, but still so young. I have no job, but I'm divorced. It's okay, man. You're working on it. You're developing all these new skills with, like, gaming and stuff like that. I'm proud of you. Doing cool things. I think you're really cool. I was gonna lay that on you. Did I save? Saves again, just for good measure. Yeah. Always proud of you, Bert. You've come a long way. It's a lot of... You Honestly, you have done... I said this yesterday and I'll say it again. You know, you have gone through so much in one year. And I'm really proud of the... You know, like... You know, like, you've come a long way mentally. And I, you know, I have a lot of... A lot of high hopes for you, okay? Not that there's like any pressure or anything. I just mean like I think I think you're headed down a good path. I don't know. I just have faith in you, man. I think you're great. My goal is to have published my own games by 35. Let's go! Hard work ahead. Stop, you're making me blush. Such a cutie. We love our boat. He is such a good boat. Hi, Han. Hi, Phil. How you doing? Can guarantee you my life only got better from 30. Yeah, well, there's that too. I'm having a pretty good time. I'm more worried about everything going downhill at one point. I'm like, I can't emotionally deal with that, so 
might just continue living with Adara and, you know, cooking and cleaning. Is that a lot? Hmm, interesting. I think it's one of those things, correct if I'm me or if I'm wrong, I'm not 30, but in my brain it kind of makes sense because it's like 20s to your third, to, between 20 and 30. It's kind of like a, it's like a trial run of being an adult, you know? When you're a kid, you're constantly under supervision until you leave school, like you leave school and home, right? And then from 19 to like 29, you have a whole like 10 years to basically be like, hey, the world's your oyster. We're just gonna throw you out there and you gotta figure out how to swim, okay? It's a lot of trial and error. It's, you know, it's that difference between when you're 19 and being like, yeah, I'll spend like eight hours drinking and then getting to the age of 25 and being like, I don't want to ever drink again. Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's, and then you get to like 30 and you're like, you know what? I actually feel like I can, I can figure my life out a little bit more from this point onwards. I can help with your fro throat pain. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you suggesting, Bo? You should be prohibited and get, get a cold while you're on vacation. Dude, the same thing happened to my friend. She went, she went to Queensland and halfway through she got a cold. I'm like, what the fuck? It's horrible. All right, I ain't go to bed, guys. I'm streaming in less than 12 hours. Probably. I'm so scared about doing this 12 hour stream. I'm like, am I even gonna be interesting enough for 12 hours? I've done 12 hours before, but like, I don't know, like sometimes I don't always have a anything interesting to say or a focal point. I don't know. It'll be fine. <laughs> it also just depends on how I feel tomorrow too. You were last time. Thanks, it's Stania. But I stream the school. Yeah. I'm starting probably around 11. I'm planning for 11. We'll see how long I'm asleep for and the like, but I'm off work so we could attempt an offering of time. <gasps> Wait, what time do you wake up? What time? Would that be Australian? That does sound like fun. I haven't done an offering of time in a while, so. And I'll be awake this time. <laughs> So much physical pain. I need to get a brunch of animation. A bunch, sorry. I was like, yes, brunch. Fuck yeah. Of animations done tomorrow, so I'll join. Mm. Hell yeah, we'll like sit back. I'm thinking about maybe doing some art on stream. So maybe we'll all sit back and do it. Um, <laughs> Love it. You start stream at 9 a.m. my time today. Okay. So that point onwards, probably, is what you're saying? I can teach you. I haven't bought the program yet. Um, well, we'll see if it's on special. We could just all art together. I do like the sound of that. If I do art though, it's probably going to be on the early part of the stream, I'm thinking. I also want to do power washing simulator, but that's pretty boring. I could always leave power washing simulator for later. <laughs> You know, there's that part of me that's like, will I just end up playing Octopath for the entirety of stream? I'm gonna see what I feel like. See what I feel like. But it'll be nice and fun. Nice little last... It'll be the last stream. Tomorrow will be the last stream for the rest of the year. I'm not doing a Christmas Eve stream. I'm gonna... Uh, sorry, a New Year's Eve stream. Because I am going to Adara. Um, I'm gonna spend it with Adara. I also have work that day too. Um... So work, relaxing with Adara, and then New Year's Day, I think it's a Monday. I could do something, but I might just end up doing more stuff at dawn. We'll find out. No worries. It's all just art. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Could do Jackbox games. I don't own any Jackbox games. <laughs> I like the concept of them, but I think it makes me like anxious because Jackbox games are very much dependent on having an audience and an audience that's also has the time to interact in the stream. You know what I mean? You know, like if you think most people are probably putting on the stream and then just setting it in the background, you know, like just makes me 
it's too dependent on other people. You'll be fine. We'll do something fun. It's all right. I do like the idea of doing some drawing because I do need to do some drawing. Haven't done any in a while. I need to do some ideas for animated emotes, for example. <laughs> oh, so much work. Doesn't help that I'm very, very, very bad at animating. So it's a very slow process. Question answered. Because mm. so they've opened up that there's ten. There's now ten animated emote slots when before there was like four or five. So now there's ten, which is great. But I need to come up with more ideas. But if I come up with an idea, I need to be able to animate it either maybe using something else or using Clip Studio Paint. Uh, it's so frustrating too because. If I try to save something on, if I try to make something and then animate it, like the best way I can animate something is through like, uh, like a video editor thing, but you can't save it with an invisible background for a, for a GIF. So I'm like, ugh. So it's Final Fantasy 14. That is true. And Baldur's Gate 3. It's true. That is so true. There's still a lot of things I could fluff around and do. Where's my list? Where's my list for next year? Yeah. I'm gonna email for you. I'll make a chip for you. How about $3,000 for just one 12 by 12 emote? See, I can do that for no money. <laughs> I like my emotes. My emotes are good. They're cute. I always hate those like people that are like, I don't know if they're bots or not. It really confuses me. The people who come in, they nearly always have like evade designs in their name. And then they go, hi, your stuff looks really good. I can change it. And I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> don't come in here, compliment them and then be like, I can do it better. But then also they're probably a bot. I can pay you to make emotes for you. I can pay you to make emotes for you, huh? Thanks, Philip. <laughs> Silly. Anyway, we'll get this. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll have an excellent day today and tomorrow. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to tomorrow now. We'll, we'll play games. It'll be... We'll chill, relax. Maybe do some painting. Maybe. See how I feel. I'm gonna wake up and be present in the moment. So. <gasps> Hi, Ara. Doing great, Ara. Good morning, Techie. We're about to end stream, guys, but it's okay. Have a good night, guys. Good night, Alda. Good night, Philip. Good night, Ara. <gasps> See you, Techie. Have a good the rest of your day. I'll be there. I know you will be. Even if I'll be like, Philip, sleep. <laughs> and good night, Bert. All right. Good night, guys. Love you all. Sleep well. Bye-bye. That's just a song. <gasps> um... Yeah. Good night, Vera.